Ladies and gentlemen, I am your host. And here we are. Thank you for coming back for another GMD. We all had a big, heavy weekend. Um, it was emotional for most of us. And there's been a ton of things that have transpired since then. A lot of news. A lot to digest since from WrestleMania to right now. But before I can continue and say anything about anything, I must bring on one of my co-hosts here that are, I mean, he, know, he knows something about something, and he knows what belt's coming next. He's a big fan of it. Welcome in. Easy E, the nightmare of podcasting. Come on, let's bring it in here. Let's uh, get it. I don't know about nightmare podcasting. I'd say the stepsister of podcasting. Somewhere in there. Can't but, see me. But people, see me? it is hump day. The show's starting off a little weird because where where's the goat? You know, Tony Tony was here for once early. I know it's fucked up, right? Premature evacuation hit that start button. So we're just gonna roll. I'm waiting for my dog Mendoza. I'm sure he's getting his goat milk right now. You know, we got so some... what? Hold on. I know. No, I'm coming in here first because I know I missed a portion of time. Y'all went live like immediately after night two, and dude, I was so hyped up. Y'all remember what I said? Like, I need some rest, bro. That was too much. I threw my oh fan. My I threw both my pillows up at the fan. I reached right for my winged eagle. And I held it so high up and I almost hit the fan again. I'm happy it didn't. It's very expensive. But I'm just saying. It's a new day. But before we can go further, we actually have to bring on the actual host. Because I was just here at a part-time guest. Let's bring in the master of Mexican. The captain of tacos. And the goat of goat milk. Did somebody say tacos? Is, is this the barilla of of goat milk? Is this is this the uh it's a burrito, yeah. White meat. Mm. Right in the middle. I mean Okay, okay. It's a chicken, it's a chicken taco of the night, baby. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we, we uh, Tony with the pre premature evacuation and jumping the gun. I tried to tell him about it's it's a it's a, it's a chicken taco because it's, it's bird meat, you know? It's bird meat tonight. Oh god. It's, it's bird it's bird meat. Because it's a new hell? day. You know, I, I, I know are you ecstatic are you are you ecstatic because you're a Cody fan though, right? Too right? Hello, honestly. Hello. I kind of I already miss like what what I would just want to know what's okay. gonna go on with Roman. I don't want him to go away. I want him to go away. You we know, can do what I just want to ship you. you know what I mean? You didn't you didn't, you didn't have to, you didn't have enough of three years. L listen, stop pause the show right now. Pause. Here we go. Put me on the main damn screen because already you've upset me. And I I Jesus. We it's like the butterfly. Story. It's like the butterfly effect. I don't have control, so that's that's all on. Uh, if I can get my control of my mouse, I'll handle it in a second. Okay, guys, check it out. Before we even go further, sorry I'm late. I'm I'm a Mexican. What can I say? But listen, guys, I'm late for an important reason. Because we got to start this off right. We knew exactly why you were late. Ethan called this one. I, I'm sorry, guys, but look, the new flavor came out today. I had to have it. It's the old smokies oh, snickerdoodle. Old, oh, I'm talking to myself. Snickerdoodle. Oh, mm. oh, so you're you're getting good and tight tonight, huh? And then we're gonna mix it up with a little peanut butter flavored screwball whiskey. What Ooh. the hell, dude? You're just trying to get all kinds of twisted, huh? I've been celebrating since it's Sunday. Day. It's hump since day. Sunday, and if y'all don't understand, and it's hump day today, I'm gonna tell you something. We got lots to celebrate about. The cry Romies are out and about. They, 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 they're hitting the internet hard. 
Some people are saying they're not going to watch WWE anymore. I'm fine with that. More oh, for me. It More sounds like an exact exaggeration of night one. Uh, sounds like a complete forward. reversal. This isn't what I heard. Look, the Brooklyn Brawler could have won that match, and I'd be happy. Because Roman didn't. I'm excited because I've been I've been going on some of the uh, social media platforms, and I'm seeing that Cody actually looked at the camera. He kind of gave a look up and said, like, uh, he'd like to see and try to bring in a title that he grew up seeing and admiring. So that's my, my, that my hopes are up. I am. I wonder. Winged Eagle, here we come, baby. Hopefully. I know it's not going to be the, the old design, but if it's got to have the new W's, F it. But I just want, I have a question for everybody here real quick. By them saying, and maybe this is just me, but does anybody think, because I haven't checked on this, but I, I want to check the legal records on this. By him, Who by likes this, that belt, though? Hey, it, it's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> but by, him, by them saying, and Michael Cole said it, and Triple H said it, and Cody said it, and many more people said it, Pro wrestling and a new era. They didn't say wrestling entertainment. They said pro wrestling. I would love to see all the companies come together. Is the clause and time of the lawsuit for them prohibited the use of WWF over? Well, would, from my understanding, the Wildlife Foundation. my understanding is they were they're technically allowed to use it. But they just don't. I heard three years ago that they technically can use it. They can. Um, they were they had permission before, but they really overdid it. They really violated it to the point where um, the Wildlife Foundation said, "You know what? You're not really listening to us, so we're gonna go full balls in, deep, and sue the shit out of you guys." So could. Could the clause, the time set that they had on that, the licensing of the use of WWF be over? I, I don't think they'll ever go back to it used on a main stage, but maybe for merch. What's up, Rob? But before we get too far into this, before we get too far into this, I got a uh, birthday shout out. Two birthday shout outs, actually. You're muted, Tony. So let's take down the comments. Oh, you shit. We got a boy getting dressed, dressed up backstage. Don't. Oh, don't shit. Worry oh, about that. No, put him on. Put no, him right, on there. Go on. Go on. Put get your shout out on there. Two birthday shout outs. First one. My daughter, my baby. Hey. My, my little one tomorrow. Hey. Her 14. Her 14. Big one. You got yeah. two years. You got two years to the big one. Oh man, what are you gonna, bro? Oh my god! I'm, I'm telling you. And all right, secondly, what's the? All right, what's the second? One? Secondly, my oldest daughter has had a boyfriend for a minute now. Yeah, I know. It's it's been a struggle. He's a good kid, but on the flip side, is I I can only be so nice because a lot of it's got to be earned. You know, you gotta. You got to earn your stripes with me. So, but no, he's a good kid. He's actually been in the hospital for the last week. And it's his birthday today. He's, 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 it's his birthday. He's been in the hospital because I, I can't believe I'm admitting this on camera. My daughter tried to kill him. He's well, you allergic. know, I mean, he's you guys allergic. are, you guys no, are he's, Mexican. he's an asshole. He's allergic to peanut butter. What? Killing him with peanut butter. I, I there was some kind of cookie incident that I I didn't get the whole story, but apparently he had a cookie that wasn't peanut. He had a cookie that was peanut, and somehow I don't know if it was some crumbs intermingled or whatever. But I was talking to him at one point, and he was like, "Oh yeah, I got a peanut allergy, but it's not like that bad, you know." I guess he thought it wasn't that bad, and then fast forward to this, 
He's been in the hospital, tubes, and the, the whole bit. Okay, that ain't all right. That ain't. That yeah, ain't. I'm sorry. So, I'm sorry. so I listen. Hope he, gets back. he can I still hope he gets be. Better. He can still be fired from the boyfriend thing, but I'm. I, I still want him well. I still want him to get better. And well. Have a happy birthday. Uh, get yeah. out of there. Get out. Shout out. I'm sorry. Shout out to Addy. Hey, but, sorry, your girlfriend has a, uh, a peanut thing. And to be honest with you, I am sorry for you more than anything because. Dude, I would hate to be allergic to peanuts, like peanut butter, would, peanut cookies, peanut butter cookies. Like, I honestly thought you, my daughter was gonna kill. I was gonna be the first guy my daughter killed. Yeah, I was just. <laughs> that's how I always envisioned. Well, you, I mean, you raise her right, man. She's aiming it in the right direction. Well, you point that thing someplace good. else. I, I talk shit, but I talk shit, but no, seriously, get well soon, kid. I hope. I hope you the best i'm sure you're in they, the right they, place right now they so. seem seem pretty happy together and so oh the shit fuck what the fuck that? just what the fuck just happened pro wrestling is back pro wrestling is back we weren't talking lucha it's back Welcome to gold milk oh yeah i love the look problem is it's the same color as your drink yeah you gotta you gotta you gotta straighten that one out bro yeah the rock the whole way no, don't do that. Don't do that. No, get a little strong, punch a little hole in the amount of uh you know, be. just a little slit would do the whole trick. You know what I mean? I was putting it on just for fun. Now I can't get the damn thing off. We want you to go full screen taking this goddamn thing off when you whenever you decide to. Whenever you need a drink, you're going full screen. I need it now. I okay. can't do it. There you go. All right, let's watch them. It's the goat. Wow, that came out pretty easy, man. Your hair is all. Right. You are a lioness. That's look at this. It's because I had I was, I've been wearing it for like twenty years. For the first time, I revealed my face here it, on the show. It still sits the like, same no, green way. That's that was crazy. like the Mexican Jim. That was like the Mexican Jim Carrey in the movie Mask. Oh, oh Bro, my it, god! It right back to normal, like immediately. How the hell did that happen? Look at my hair, Jesus Christ! What did I do to myself? This is amazing, guys. Snickerdoodle and peanut butter touch. That kid is missing out. If he can't even have peanut butter flavored liquor, it sucks. Bro, he's done. He can't even know. have his drink. He's going to get I all said, kinds of like his lips are going to get fat. Like, mm -mm. But like, like, I feel bad. I feel bad for him, though. Dude. Yo, when did this happen with the peanut stuff? We've got the wrestling fanatic on here live with us, guys. What's up, brother? Yes, sir. Tell me. Yes, sir. What are we talking about? We gotta get we gotta get down these comments. What up, fanatic? Yes, sir. Yeah. No, you know what straws you gotta get, Mendoza? The glasses straws. The ones that are sunglasses. Uh that that's a good You question. see that would that would make our podcast much more efficient. Hmm. Hold on. Before we answer this question, Facebook user, you gotta ID yourself, bro. I can't give privy information like that. Unless they know who we're talking about oh, or who we're talking to. Right. Let me see. I've got to jump on the other platform just so I can see all the names, guys. Give me a sec here. I know. He always does that. He's good at that. But anyways, fellas, it's Wednesday. How's your week been? How's the week? Crazy. I was outside. I was kind of sick because my... Uh, I got hmm. sick and uh, I was still handling ladders and we couldn't find a ladder to work themselves. So I had to handle the uh, fiberglass ladders. And if anybody knows anything about really big ladders, 32 to 40 foot ladders, aluminum is much easier than fiberglass. Those fiberglass. So I was, oh, Michael. I was, I was Aloha, brother. What's up, brother? Fiberglass. Mr. Michael Blasty oh. hit on his Facebook user. What's hey. up, brother? What's going on? What's hey. up, Kevin? We got Ben Walker well, in the house. We had a lot of guys. We had a lot of guys we're reaching out to. But there's one thing that I want to put up on the screen right now. It's my favorite dude. My favorite Mace. Mace Windrew. What's up, what else, my brother? Up, baby? I talked to this dude the whole entire WrestleMania weekend. And NBA. I don't know where the hell BA is at. But Bromances are a thing of today. It's okay. I'm not going to lie. Listen, I'm, I can't it's wait till romance. Nick Carnavale comes on here because... Like 
me and him got a thing going on. He's in Vegas. He is out Rolex. Yeah, he, he's he's living Rolex in shopping. He's shopping just, for Rolex just, right now. Just just leave it leave it in Vegas, okay? Leave, leave it in Vegas. Leave, Whatever you leave do. Leave it in Vegas. All right. Don't Whatever bring it you along do, with you. Don't bring it home. Do Get not a make a belt with. Do not make a belt. Do not catch the creep, the crawlies, the herpes, the gonna herpesyphilades. Leave it in Vegas. And no X Men and no X Men Rolex belts. We've learned. Do not say X Men belts in Vegas. Mm, mm. They're gonna have a whole different. So I got a question for you both. Ooh. Oh boy! I'm you know we had a um, eclipse on. What was it? What's today? On Wednesday, on Monday, mm-hmm. we had the totally. Thank you, Platinum. Uh, we had the totally eclipse of the heart. Man, I was on TikTok, man, and I was promised the rapture. I was promised all this shit gonna go down, and I get mm-hmm. dick. I was waiting for the zombies to come out. I was disappointed. It's very disappointing, and all you, all you. People standing on corners with megaphones looking like Jimmy Hart talking about the end of the world. You disappoint me every single time. Just when I start to believe, just when I start to buy into the hype, I get let down like this. See, but this Shame on you all. This rolls into what me and Mendoza can sympathize with. Tony, not quite yet. He's not there yet. But... Me and Mendoza can speak on, you know, we're talking rapture, we're talking end of the world, and then you can add in ungrateful wives. You know, so the, the, hear me out. You get a, you get guys like me and Mendoza and our wives should be way more grateful for us than they even show. Like, it should be not even second, it should be first nature. Mendoza, when she brings you your plate, you should feed you your burger. You know, that's just the level of gratefulness that I want to see. You're, you're on to something. You're on to something. Because where she in made the world... Me, she made me mole today. Ooh, chicken mole? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. So do you guys know that you, you, guys, you guys know probably the ultra Mexican chocolate? Yeah, yeah. So I don't do the chocolate. Have to. I don't think. I'm not. Because the other way is either. Like, the other don't. way makes it kind of bitter. I like a little bit of the bitterness, and and because my grandma did it like so. My grandma did it a very ultra Mexican way, and my mom did it more of a a, a Mexican white way. So like my grandma would just throw a whole fucking chicken in a pot, mm. boil it. And then get the mole and the whole thing, and you kind of got to go through and get the chicken bones and. Okay. Like my mom is, my get mom was shred the, shred the chicken, buy the chicken, boil the chicken, shred the chicken, and then make the mole, but minus no chocolate. Awesome. Guys, Dude, I'm gonna grow a mole. Did you just hear what he said? That's like my grandmother with how you have to things and and like strip the things and boil the things and then put them in the sauce and then cook them for 12 hours hmm. do you hear the kind of effort that went into the meals that we were, we appreciate as grown men i i heard the same thing out of you different process same amount of effort oh yeah no yeah. we're for i mean sure. dude, come on we're, we're for spoiled. Sure spoiled but we're spo- we're spoiled on men we could be spoiled even further my my wife would feed me but I'm a little picky with that because I have to have a just the right amount of food on you, my. You right. You know, when you I right. chew, I, there's I, a certain I, level. You, you need to see, like you got to have the fat man spoon, but you don't want an overly big bite. But you don't want that yeah. under bite where you're like yeah. it's useless. Yeah, yeah, not it's like on that. where she has to feed you every second. No, you want it. Here you go. Give me, give me my 30, 40 chews, and then come back. But then, but then, if she feeds you too much, you're gonna look like the Gerber baby with fucking food. Just that's their oh. job, dude. Mm. That's literally their job. No, it's dude, it, do it, not, it, dude. It I'm sorry, you're from Mexican. I'm sure. Listen, I know the people that speak the related languages, and I know for a fact that if your grand, you walk into your grandmother's house, 
they may be alive, they may not be alive, but you could still say at the same age, if you walk into your grandmother's house and she has a whole meal cooking and she fixes you a plate, you're going to walk away? You're trying to get smacked in the back of the head with a spoon? What are you, what are you trying to do here? So this is this is where I can't speak I can't speak for Mendoza. You you can tell me if this is so my grandma was very, 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 very Hispanic. Oh yeah. My wife well, my to, wife does but... feed me. And especially like we're in bed watching me, TV. You've seen this on camera. What do you mean? Does his wife feed him? Yeah. Have you not seen the episodes? Go back and look. She brings him food down on camera. She's so too good to me. Called, I'm not deserving. He literally of my says wife. he literally says I use my Jedi powers. And then food comes down to him automatically. It's just fucking riddle, riddle me this Mendoza cuz you're you you grew up with the Hispanic family. So my grandma was ultra Hispanic, but she was very mean. And what I mean mean is we live with her for a time being, you know, we're going through some family stuff, we lived through it. You know, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, but my grandma was to the point of like mean where she would go through in the mornings and like take a, a marker and draw a line on the level of milk. <laughs> count, the, count the number of yo, tortillas. Made. Yo, hey, crap. I'm not joking. Grandpa, you see what I'm rocking, right? You can be dying. You see what I'm rocking, right? I'm rocking the grandpa belt. Like <laughs> this shit ain't right, right? Like listen, this is it's how not you get supposed by to be that. here, but it's here still so anyway. You do you what know we what's do. about to happen, grandpa. You add water. When, when when you you add water or just to throw them off, what you do is you you if you take a drink out of something, you put little um what, what do they call those damn things? Um posters underneath uh, the fridge it gets it out of the level and everything looks a little more uh, full no no so she she would literally count like slices of cheese damn bro and if you you could be dying of hunger and if you didn't ask permission you did not go in that refrigerator and fucking touch it so that's like that's why like corkiness and with me today now as, a, as an adult like i'll grab like a gatorade or something it'll be in the fridge and my kid will be like, uh, Dad, whose Gatorade it is? Just fucking drink it. Yeah, I do the same thing. I, I mean, like, you guys shouldn't have to ask. Don't ask. Yeah. Guys, just, listen. Just put the right cap back the on it and put it back in there when you're done. Like, what yes. the fuck? Hey, for the for the comment on the screen right now, all you got to do is go in there when it says um, click and register your name. That's you got to give you stream guard permission. To put your name on there. Yeah, it just it just lets us allow you to have access to your name. Oh God, we got fam, we got fam in here, Zeke. I know we got some stuff going yeah, on, bro. Let me let know. me tell you guys something. And, and my cousin's gonna he he is gonna um he's gonna vouch for this. How many of you guys had that on on birthday parties? They cut the. Cut the cake slices so thin they look transparent when you held them into the air. How many people are at the party? Yeah. Bro, my dad. Bro, it's a Mexican you. party, but still. My all right, God. hold on. If you got a, if you got a tiny ass cake, you got to no. listen, dude. This is all. It's really, possible. you want to do fractions? It's you want to do pie charts? Dad, is that what we're doing? Dad, pie charts on this channel yeah. right now? Jesus. My Christ. dad would cut ham so fucking thin. You can hold it up and literally see <laughs> through it. <laughs> Do you guys remember the episode of Tom and Jerry where they're like, they, they, they're so poor, they got no food, so they're slicing a, a, one bean and they put it in between the thin slices of the sandwich and he picks up the sandwich you know, and they're, eats. they're not even that hungry, Mendoza. They're not even that hungry. All right. Okay. My <laughs> wife's neighbor, she used to put a chain around her fridge and not let her kids eat at night. She lock up the fridge, literally a chain and a lock. No lie. No lie. A Facebook user, this is my cousin right here. Welcome, he, cousin. He can vouch. Welcome, and he can cousin. also vouch for the for the epic ass whoopings we used to get as a kid. You ever get oh. one down by your grandfather? Didn't you, you ever... wish you had one? Of, didn't you wish you had one of these when you were lower down and just a little kid 
and you got to just me, smack let, yourselves let me, around, and then one of me, you got to hold this up. No, yeah, no, that's did. not how it works around my I house. Bet, I bet you wish you did. My house, house, shut up. Was, you you own all of them, Ethan. Nice. You don't even. Ethan, no, no, no. My house you own, nice you own every color, every colorway. Like, it's like Jordan's with you with, with the Winged Eagle. Like, we don't even <laughs> want to hear from you at all. We know, <laughs> we know, <laughs> Ethan owns all the, the Winged Eagle. We got it, bro. You have to listen to the white man struggle growing up. He only got to go to the arcade twice a month, man. Then it's the white man struggle. Anyways, Mendoza. In arcade? Mendoza, did you ever make that fatal mistake getting an ass whooping as, as a child where you grabbed the belt? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. And it, and it got worse. Let me tell you. I remember Dude, I my remember I got I, a black eye. First black pardon. eye was from that. I remember they used to be like, don't you dare put your hands in. And it would go worse. Although, although I wish I wish I was alive. I wish I knew now what I know then. Because I was watching TikTok, and one of my favorite TikTokers, Yo. Jason Banks. Can I just can I just say for just one second? We got Platinum the bad we got Platinum the bad in the house today. Listen, guys, Platinum, let me Platinum ask you this, Tony. Platinum shows as a death wish. <laughs> <laughs> if Tony, if Tony would take off the sunglasses, that comment was up like five minutes ago, and he's still interrupting. But you know, we we digress. yeah, I, I don't. Let, let me let me ask you this, Tony. Let me let me show you how nice your childhood was. You ever, you ever, you ever uh, got walked in your room, had to get your fucking chonies pulled down, lay flat on the bed where you got like bared ass. No, I've never, I've never whooping. been raped. I've never been huh? raped. I'm sorry. See, you get tell. I don't want to talk about this in the channel right now. You get, then you never sang mariachi when you got hit, bro. Because when that when that belt hit those nalgas, it oh, was dude, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. No, see. <laughs> You're, you guys got that special treatment. You guys got belt. You guys got you guys got belt and chancletas. Anthony, you know what no. I got? can you tell Duck. me about your feelings, Anthony? Is it okay? Just let me hear about your feelings. Yeah, yeah. Who the fuck are you talking about right now? Listen, you got extra meatballs on your spaghetti right? just for the hell of it. He got noodles. <laughs> You got noodles, yes. I'm just going back to my regular I, form right I'm now. I'm not joking. I had cornflakes and spaghetti noodles at one point. Were so this poor. dude just asked about mm. my feelings. He never has asked about my feelings. Neither have any of my parents or my Have you ever had a tang witch? You know, you know what they tell me? <laughs> I know. <laughs> you don't know Ethan, Ethan's face See, as soon as I said tang witch, bro. There's a struggle and then there's struggle. Yeah. Tony, Tony might have struggled, you know... He only Man, got I don't, dude, he only please, got please don't, please don't let me play top that right now because I'm gonna top you. Oh, do you want to top that? I can go all night long. We probably shouldn't oh. do this in the air. <laughs> but anyway, anyways, what I'm check out Michael is, here. Check out Michael here. <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> so uh, y'all got y'all got y'all got spankings and shit. I got chairs thrown at me. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, Tony. Hold so on. Go on. Go you... on. Tell me, tell me, tell me how easy I had it. Go on. Tell me what white privilege hold is. Hold on. Go on. Well, you guys stop talking Usually first. Usually it's this carriage ducking. Is he dapping? He's like, ah. Uh, it uh, looked no, like I'm, he was I'm dapping. Do I'm, do I'm dodging chairs. I'm having flashbacks. Dodging I'm having chairs. PTSD so, so the right thing, now. So the, thing, the thing is, Tony, I, don't, I, can, I can wholeheartedly say my childhood was fucked up and everything like that and i don't i don't Those what we celebrate Hold here. On. would you shut your mouth for four seconds jesus I, christ i don't dispute <laughs> that was when you're in prison <laughs> you walked into that one yeah i, I definitely dispute, did i yeah. don't dispute no, your, let's, your, let's, let's just let's just let's just give him his uh, I, I didn't walk into that one all right go ahead i don't dispute your childhood was great or fantastic or anything like that but when get back to me when your father burns your house down when you're at school <laughs> Give back to me when your father stabs a dude in the front yard. 
Oh, give, God. Give back to me when your father shoots at your brother for trying to stab him. Oh, God. So, so those are those things. It's not a one up, and it's not a proud one. Yeah, we we I'm had a, we I'm had a, different a, we had different problems, but I don't want to talk about them on air. I'm a life. <laughs> now, see, I don't worry about it. It's not a problem to me. I'm a life lesson. I'm a life lesson mm-hmm. because those things, those things that we saw, our kids don't go through. Yeah, I know. That's our why kids, I don't want to talk. About ne- it. Our kids never going to go through. But if we don't talk too, about them, they don't know about them. No, 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 no. I'm not too stupid not to teach them. I took them. I took them by every halfway house I've lived in, every floor I've slept on, to show them what you have and what you go through is nothing in comparison to somebody else. So don't get caught up in life comparing yourself to somebody else. Mm-hmm. Appreciate what you have and move forward. So this is why, forward. and this is why every now and then, guys, we got to do like Thor. And call the fucking belt out of the skies like rolling thunder and just roll that bitch up and just crack them. Every now and then you just gotta just remind them. Just get a little. I would have got spanked with that said belt though. You know what I'm saying? But the, oh, that's the thing is just like. You know, what, you know what time it is, baby. You know what time yeah, it is. That, that's you, why I, I vibe with certain people. You know, know what time it is, others. right? I don't know what time it is, right? I didn't get with you for on Sunday night. And I'm sure you all went for... I have to check the, the feed. But I'm sure you all went for crazy time because you all were all pumped up. And so Not was I. I'm down wake up at 5. We didn't go that long, did we? Uh, so long on Sunday? Uh, what, what, I think night hours? one we went longer. I think night one we went longer, didn't we? Night, I think yeah, night one. Oh yeah, we dude. Were Yo, we were hours. we were over we were over two hours on that one. It was or uh, at least damn close, bro. You ain't lying. I, I don't even no, call people. Hey, Yo, Facebook user. <laughs> you That's win. Michael. That's Michael. Right, Michael, Michael. Hello, my brother. Mahalo. Michael, you are in a safe place right now, my brother. That's what we do over here. We're in a safe right. place. We may make fun of you if you say something funny, but we still care. And our guys, are- uh, I'm thankful for the ass whoopings. I remember, like after I got my ass whooping, we had a traditional rock that was outside in the shade. We go sit on that bitch to get the markings off of our off our asses. Okay, a nice cool rock to sit on. Yep, I'll tell you it's one thing. Normal, right now. Though. People are too afraid to whoop their kids' asses. I don't know if, if Italian and Mexican is different. But my mom was the one that I would hand the championship to because my dad was always at work. So my mom, it was tough. It was tough. She was a hard-nosed Italian woman. My mom was the worker. She she threw me through a wall one time. This ain't no WWE shit, I'm telling you. It, It was panel. It was panel. Just so everybody knows, it wasn't child abuse. It was it was just a, like those wooden <laughs> panels. Those wood panel. But I just, I just fell in through, in between the studs. Like that that was it. But she tossed me, and I was like, ah. So your dad, I, your dad was the worker. Yeah. So yeah. my dad was the worker to work to not work. And what I mean by that is, my dad lived in between workmen's comp settlements. So Bro. like I'm not joking. Uh, I'm not joking. You know I, the, no, the milk- I, I I I I read you loud and clear. No, so you know as like a, the milk can- as a the worker milk containers? I read. You. Yeah, the milk containers where they ship the milk in the semi trucks. He at one point he was washing those out. Nobody was looking. He jumped off the back, hurt his back on purpose. Got a settlement. That's how we had money growing up. At times, he would do those kind of things, and that's that's how we had money. My mom was the honest. My mom was the honest saint of the bunch. She she became later in life. She went back to school in her 30s and became a physical therapist and became a registered nurse. And that that's how Yo, Ethan, she supported us. Just real quick. Turn up your mic just a little bit. I think they're saying they're having a hard time hearing you. How I can hear you fine, but I can hear just, you fine. I can hear you good, but you know. All right, let's, let's My dad one. put the pants off me in second grade. No, no, hold on a second. Let's need some attention. Second grade. That's a good age. 
that's the spot on right age. Hey, check this out. This is my cousin right here. His name is he. He says we used to get a whooping because we uh, touched tools. That was dude. I a don't huge, ever touch that ten, min, ten millimeter socket, dude. I swear to God, huge no under no. your kid. I'm gonna tell you about something that happened when I was a kid with my cousin. I remember seeing this, and uh, it's it's been with me ever since. And it happened to my my cousin. Yo, I'm sorry, man. You, you know what? You are right. Let me let me just take it off because I'm not even I'm not yeah. ashamed of it. So so check this out. My cousin, when he was younger, which is my other cousin well, Zeke's mean, brother, he had this uh, disease where he had like these really bad warts around his body. They like ate, eczema? they had like pus and okay. stuff, and, and he had them everywhere, even like on his ass, right? Oh shit! And I remember my I remember my uncle getting mad about something so bad that. At the and when it happened, he didn't give a shit about his condition, man. He straight out took his big ass belt off and whooped his ass. And I that stuck with me, man, because I was like, damn, dude. I remember we used to come up to our cousin and just touch one of those spots, and it was like, ah. And that one broke my heart, man. No lie. We used to get ass whoopings and chased out of chased into my my auntie's house. We would go there for safe haven because if we even dare to kick a ball into my grandfather's yard. Dude would pull out his saw, his knife, rip the ball in half, throw that shit at us, and start chasing us. No lie. Like, we were convicts, and he was the sheriff. No lie. So, I don't know about for you guys, as far as size-wise. Size 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 Does nobody else have a bad bad childhood? Are we, are we, are we therapeutic in here? Or <laughs> hold on, hold on. So, <laughs> size-wise, size in relation to your parents, are you about the same size as your dad is as an adult? No, me and my brothers are definitely bigger than my dad now. By a lot? Yeah, at least at least four, six inches easily. So so I got the milkman's size. So my mom was five two. <laughs> no, my mom was five two, my dad was five three. Holy crap. Freshman year in high school, I was fucking four eleven, bro. Four eleven. He makes fun of me for being short. I'm six one now, bitch. Yeah, see. bitch, you're bare, you're six like one. one inch taller than me. Get the six fuck one. out of here! Like, six I'm one. the short guy. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I didn't mean to interrupt you. But, you're, but I'm so wise, my role. I'm so my role. You're the tall guy. I'm my best. No, no. But size wise, when it came to ass opens, after a while, like when I got to about my sophomore year of high school, it was really evident my dad wasn't going to be able to beat my ass. Mm. I was playing football and just, just yeah. So my dad would try to go more psychological. <laughs> yeah, you better have been misspelling beat me up because if not, you're gonna have to come on here and explain there, Platinum. <laughs> like I'm not gonna lie, like you're gonna have to come on here. You got some explaining to do. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm laughing, dude, but it's just <laughs> Bro, that was that was awesome. I'm that sorry. Is that is some Homer Simpson one line laughing Bro, that's, bullshit. That's, I don't... Some, that's, some, that's some homeroom receipts. When he was like, at work, he's like, I told you my baby beat me up. But doesn't it? No, listen, my sister beat is me up weird? one time. One time. She oh, beat me got, up one time. I got my ass on my sisters, you. bro. Dude, All dude. the time. You already heard Ethan on this show tell him about the sister. But you know what? Let her try it now. You see how big oh, this still, is? No, I still want to fuck with my sisters. This asshole is huge. Like, look at. There's no reason. I still want to fuck with my sisters. If I met him on, if I met him in person, I would hug him from the back. I, no, did he? So, so the thing because I didn't me, know if he'd want to punch me or not. <laughs> no, see, the thing about me is I'm a I'm a, I'm a large large feller, but I'm as <laughs> I'm as even killed. <laughs> <laughs> Did I watch this porn? I think this is becoming porn, dude. We better show this like out. Seen porn before. Oh god! <laughs> so I'm as I'm as even killed as an individual as you're gonna come across, dude. If you really gave him that kick, it, dude, video or didn't happen. I'm sorry. I need oh to see. Oh my them. god! Do you see my name? This. Is I can't yell. <laughs> Grandma's asleep. 
This is true right here. This one right here, my cousin. This is true right here. It, dude, it was nice. I remember I used to ride that thing. The big wheels, you know, you sit the down with three wheelers. Oh, with the big green. Yeah, big dude, green. no lie. No lie. He split oh, that man. shit up, bro. <laughs> Come live, over we to visit that. my cousin's house since you're nowhere around anymore. That's fucked up. We were we were in between halfway houses. We were living at this halfway house, and they you go in the backyard and they have this shed of toys. That was when I was introduced to Big Green. I was probably like five or six. Man, I love that thing. Bought my daughter one a while back. She used it like twice, and then it said, "You know they make big wheels. You know they make big wheels for adults now, right? Have you guys seen them? You can you can buy a big wheel for adults now." The one no, is $4,900. I was going to say, it's like, dude, that shit's really expensive. Who yeah, cares, but, you, though, but, but they also made the slide actually, trucks now where actually, you put the little sliding wheels on the back. 1375 But it's, here's, but my it's thing not buying, here's my thing about buying frivolous stuff as an adult. Obviously, we grew up poor. You so are also little, commenting on a bunch of guys with a bunch of belts behind them. But, but here's what I'm saying, though. We grew and up toys, poor. Stars Mendoza. We grew up poor, so now as an, as an adult, I, I work a shitty job where I feel like I get beat up by my dad every day, even though it's my boss. So I'm going to buy the shit that makes me happy. You know what? You know what, Doza? I feel like we're being personally attacked. Listen, listen, my mom used to have to pick a are we, are we okay? have me pick a branch from the damn tree and whoop my ass. You must be from Indiana, because we call them switches over here. <laughs> Go outside and get you a switch. Go outside and get you a switch and bring a nice one that kind of goes in the air. Because if it don't do that, you right for another Non one. Nunchucks. Nunchucks. I have this it's your only ass. Way. It's the only way, bro. I have this weird story that. I cannot ever recollect a time where my mom beat me or hit me. My but. dad. No, no. So what happened was when I was born, the year I was born, my the year I was born, my mother's brother was murdered. Yeah, so the year I was born, my brother's brother was murdered. Damn. So she always oh, okay. my, mom's, my mom's one of those now. No, my mom's one of those weird like you know Mexicans that like always like superstitious and stuff like that. So she was telling me she always told me a story about she was laying in bed. I was a little infant under her arm. We were sleeping. And then she said she woke up staring down at herself and seeing us on the bed. Mm. And she said, but she felt real happy and euphoric, and there was no, no, there was no bad feelings, right? Yeah. And she said her brother came to see her, and she was talking to her brother, and she said she didn't want to go, she didn't want to wake up, she didn't want to go back, and he was like, no, 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 it's not your time, it's not your time, and then he pushed her, and then she kind of jolted and woke up. And ever since then, like I, she never like I was always the baby. I was Dude. always the. I'm not laughing at you, man. I'm listening no, to the know, whole thing, but but this comment got me right here. Platinum, you you're a fool, man. <laughs> he said my mom told me to to get to switch, uh, get a switch. He goes, uh, when I came back with a brush, she started peeling that shit away, and I passed out. <laughs> Bro, you can't play with mama, dude. There's no mama games, dude. You can't play mama games, dude. There's oh, no man. mama games. It adds dude, too much. Dude. I'm sorry. Too dude. much. Everybody makes it, fun of me for my grandma here, but I'll tell you as, what, that's that's pretty I much my mom. And we don't. As whoopings we don't, were epic. I'll tell you we what, got to see our friends we getting them. We don't do when she says something. That shit is law. Grand, and I don't give a granny shit. law, granny law. When y'all, when y'all see this background change, it's still gonna be the same. You don't have to answer. You don't have to answer if you don't want to. I will. Are you closer to grandma than mom? 
my grandmother is more of my mother okay than anything that i have yeah no that's that's see and that's that's the thing for me is like how old your grandma you should never ask a woman a woman's age she's over 70 it's, it's, let's just let's it's just say her, it like it's, it, it's pertinent she's over she's over 70 let's just put it like see, that. It, and that's what i tell everybody that i know is man is hey when fix your camera because it's focused on your mic when it comes to ah. when it comes to like your grandma your mom or whoever you hold in that regard absolutely bro the 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 thing i preface wake up every fucking morning whether it's a in person or a text message or something I love it's you. always in person right now I, but it's 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 i love you i love you i love you because there'll come a point and i hope it never happens to you but it's gonna happen it's it's life i say it every damn day but wait wait for me it was harder because i had to see my mom I had to see her every day, but I'd be like, "Hey, mom, how's it going? How you feeling? I miss you today. Who are you? I never yeah, had no son. Tough. And so, like, eight years of that kind of like gives you it's like a noogie to your soul. There's mm -hmm. a little noise toy in Chicago. Oh, we need to eradicate oh, one of them. Damn, I feel privileged. I don't know switches go all on, the way man. from Chicago all the way down to uh, Indiana. It's, Bro, it's just a thing. It's a I'll, thing. I'll, was there a Tony State anywhere? Because I that's where I need to live. Mm. Well, we'll just give you Montana. We'll just call that Tony. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, all right, you know what? Fine. I'll Dang accept it. that. At least it's not Kentucky. Right? Mm. That's, that's where I would have sex with my sister. And that's not okay because I'm white. Which... Which he's We've thought got about Stone people. Cold Steve in the house. Hey, Stone, up, Stone Cold, what's wrong with you? How come you couldn't make Mania? Where were you? Where were you at Mania, bro? You we, know, we, we wanted all, to see the glass break. The glass break. You know, and to be fair, I would have been way more happy with bro, the glass breaking than the Undertaker. Don't talk to you right now. Don't even want to talk to you because you left us hanging. Did you guys ever he get didn't. the one-liner about um? It's just gonna hurt you more than it's gonna hurt. It's gonna me. hurt me. Did you ever? Did you guys ever get that? Don't. All right, hold on. Can I get into something right now? And oh, I don't know if you guys are aware to the actual situation. Um. Roman Reigns, his brother. That was his birthday, the day that he lost the title. And I don't know if anybody caught that, caught that little clip when Cody covered him and that smile that came over his face. And he it was, was a sigh of relief. It's over. No, the I don't weight think it's off his shoulders. It, yes, I um, think it might have been a sigh of relief. Mendoza. I do think. I do the think one over all things is that dude. His dad was kind of his dad. And dude, when that smile came over, dude's been over two years. Let's just ride this out for just a titch. And Did see you how guys catch Seth Rollins' eye, though? What what was up with his eye? Looked like he his mom crying. dabbed him up a little bit. No, right? dude, that... I know crying and I know swollen when I see it. Yeah, when somebody like dabs fucking, your eye up. I want Drew knock his ass out. Fucking me. Drew's a big Seth, dude. I don't know if you've seen Seth, him or not, but Seth earned bigger than us. But Seth earned, but has earned a lot of flowers. And this WrestleMania man, that dude works. That dude just put in fucking work, man. He deserves he, he a break. Did. He deserves a break. Roman deserves a break. Um, I, I can't wait to see, actually I can't wait to see Roman come back in six months. Maybe Rumble time. Yeah, I think he's definitely I dude, you think you don't think he's coming back at backlash to catch a shit? Ah, real quick, Stone. It didn't work because I'm an Android guy, maybe, and sometimes Apple stuff doesn't work for me. I'm a oh, shit. my bad, bro. 
My bad. I'm broke on bad. this end. My you bad. know, I'm just normal people over here. I don't have Man. Rolexes and yeah. Apple phones. That's I all. Yes, I, I knew you. I thought you were <laughs> yeah. for Apple. But I'll oh, tell you what you. I did like, and I'm not sorry for saying tell this. Me, tell me one thing right now. I want to vote. Real quick, real quick. Real I want quick. to vote. I want to vote by ones. Who thinks Roman Reigns is coming back to win it again? Oh, he is. He's going to give him a few months. But listen, I'm going to say this, and I don't feel bad about saying it. I felt good seeing Roman walk up that ramp, head down. Everybody was passing him up on the way down to the ramp, wasn't even acknowledging him. And then when he finally got to Paul Heyman, he broke down like a bitch and started crying. Uh, I I just love it. That right, that was a good that was a good part for me. And some people are gonna say that's messed up because he probably remembered that his brother Rosie uh, passed away, and that was uh, very near and dear to him. But nonetheless, as strong as he always. Made himself out to be and everything in front of the cameras and the way he talks and walks and all. That was a big breakdown for him. 1,316 days, gentlemen. Look, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, Roman's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. It's a storyline, guys. Don't forget, it's a storyline. It's a, a storyline. And Hogan, yeah, is, is. Hogan's run is still intact, baby. Because Roman didn't deserve Hogan's run. I'm he just, really did not. Hogan carried Seth, the company from the 80s. Seth had 57 defenses. In the three-year run that Roman had, he had the same amount almost of defenses. I think it was 53 to 57. Come but on. how many of those were clean? Exactly. How many of those were clean? You know what I mean? So, so... Again, I'm jumping off the, the the feeling bad for Roman or anything like that. He got his, he got his love, he got his, he got his cement, his legacy, and everything like that. It's gonna be fine. Uh, he, I hope he kicks his leukemia. That's one thing is that's past wrestling. That's something that's 100 percent wrestling. Dude. Um, so let him get that stuff in order. We'll see some. We'll see him somewhere around Royal Rumble time. He's he's already training. He already put a video up and he put a little smirk on his face while doing it. So they got shit in the plans. They have plans. Definitely gonna enjoy watching the Drew McIntyre. Like, dude, isn't that with... so much more refreshing than a continuous it, the air is different always now. knowing the result? Like, come on. Dude, bo wrestling gets boring when you always know the result. Even Am Hogan, I wrong? Am I even wrong? Hogan lost the title and won it back. Even yes. Triple H lost the title and won it back. The Rick Rock Blair lost the title and won it back. 16 time. 16 time. Heavyweight. 16. 16 time. That's Heavyweight why I was champion always... of the fucking world. You going to tell me? That's why I was always an intercontinental Bob champion. Was Roman Reigns dropping the belt? I was always an Intercontinental Champion over a World Champion because growing up, you know, you have Hogan go his long run. Then might drop it to Macho, but then get it back, and then Hogan goes long run. Yeah. So in, the Intercontinental That's, Champion, man, had so many people. I just don't like people. the design, man. See, the thing look, is, this is what we've shitty. always said about wrestling. That this is a guy wearing a bathrobe and a belt around his neck. The Intercontinental Champion. What? What belt? Take him out of... Take him off stage. Just boot him. <laughs> this is podcast number four. He just got booted from. <laughs> this man gonna talk shit about the Intercontinental Championship. Yeah, he just got booted. <laughs> I just told you that was my favorite championship, but I'll I'll give you a little favor in the, in the meantime. That's HD, bitch. That's HD Welcome. from Mendoza fucking craft. So listen, to, if you don't, twenty eighteen. Uh, well, guess what. Sounds like your uh, your little belts over there ain't meaning like shit because this motherfucker's hot. Like it makes me sweat. I gotta calm down real quick. I gotta take off the robe and everything. 
What was that, Tony Martello? Change his name. I'm sorry. Tony Martello. I don't, know what, I, don't, I don't know what you're. I don't know what you're talking about. But I had some. I had some hot, fresh steel of Romandek. I don't know what the fuck you're talking. See about. the thing. The thing Looks with like you wrestling. Got some shit in the background. You gotta get. In a, you got it in the case. I got other shit back there. But I'm just gonna leave it back there because I don't want to touch it. Hold on. Already for me, this is why the run for me, as far as Roman goes. And this is this is uh this goes through movies, comic books, wrestling, anything for me. That the hero's only as good as the villain is gonna make him. But when you always have the villain up on top, you're gonna always burn out interest. For me, there was no interest. I don't know how many pay-per-views there were that I would see all the matches. But didn't even watch Roman's match because I was like, ah, I already know the outcome. I already know the outcome. I know that uh, it's it's not even worth watching because I already know the outcome. He's going to win. I'll hear it on Facebook tomorrow. I'll catch up with it. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't worth it to me. I wasn't invested in it um, until Cody popped up. And then I was like full on invested in that. Oh God! Like, here we go. So, so the hero is only as good as the villain. You know what I mean? He has to have somebody there. So I never, I didn't mind that Slaughter beat Warrior. I didn't mind that he would beat uh, anybody else. Zeus, when Hogan fought Zeus, it it was a challenge. You know, but we all wanted to see it. You know what I mean? Andre, as big as he me, was, and never needed the title, he had to lose to Hogan. Tell me, tell me, tell me, Macho didn't unload on Warrior with that fucking scepter. That yeah. scepter shot was a fucking home run derby. Yeah, it was, man. <laughs> Which one, Joey? <laughs> Are you talking about Mendoza? Tony's. He's talking about Mendoza's. Not Mendoza, uh, Tony Leonidas. He wants to. He wants to pick it apart. And heavy. Michael, you're right. Things get heavy after a while. It's like gonna wear the one over my shoulders. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> sir. But you know, it's waiting for Tony to come back patiently. Hmm. Do, 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 We're gonna do, see. do, do, do. Did a do. bottle of lotion? Did I hear a bottle of lotion pop? Did I think you did. Pop open? Maybe? Not sure. Not but, sure. anyways, but, anyways, like you said, let me get some of these belts off my, off my head. I love the Wing Eagles. Never gonna not love the Wing Eagles. Wing, winged eagle is timeless period it, it it will for me at least it will never go out of style it's too damn classy too too damn nice oh it's, joey hi welcome it's, wednesday <laughs> it's sought after more than any other belt i think the big gold for me comes close but not not close enough Actually, none. If I had to pick a favorite that I wasn't going to get rid of my collection, it was going to be my yellow IC. Mm. Second, we'd be this one right here, though. It's got the AJ Giddings leather. Spectacular. He did. That hurt me when that thing, when that thing hit. It hurt. Tony, it Tony, hurt. When, when he sees this, let's see if he'll... Ooh, we yeah, like you. There you go, Tony. I've seen it. You know what? I like it, but no, I just, I, just, I, I wish they would have watch. done it into oh, the tape. Do this. They I did know, the I, second I, I version. Heard, I already say Joey. This is this is one. This is one of one. And I was like, you know what? This is just one of one. The second one they did in Joey. Like, Joey won't even let me mold in. it into. Mm. I'm not gonna go get more belts. I got an Awaz. I got an Awaz Smoky Skull over there. I got a Classic Shields Big Eagle. I got a Classic Shields Dual Plated Tag. 
I got a Classic Shields gold tag. <laughs> classic Shields Intercontinental Championship. Yellow, yellow leather. Yo, the yellow I see is sex. I'm not going to lie. That, that, I, need a white one. I need a white one, though, bro. I've never owned a white one. Goza! Now! <laughs> <laughs> you know what, man? I have a white one upstairs. I think that one... Well, I don't. It's my wife's. It's her... Shawn Michaels white I see. But uh I hate doing white straps. I hate what did knowing Joey, somebody what did Joey wants say, it. What did Joey say before I sent off her? One sec. Because I know that strap gets so dirty, it's the one that cracks the fastest. It's just I hate doing most, white straps. Most colored straps I don't touch. I just put in the case. You said and... me you you said you have a very nice, better paint. It's all gonna eventually crack. That's a, that's the. They that's they the all thing. no matter how good the quality. I know is, they will, but if you leave it alone, just hanging or. Oh no! It'll be like fine. That. It'll be fine. Right. But if if you the more you, the more you the more play you fold with it, it. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna wrestle. Hmm. But but we I know got, there's a lot of people that will not leave them alone. This right here. These Where's bolt. your twelve hundred dollars big gold for sale? This oh, don't worry about that. That ain't going nowhere. You ain't getting it. But these two ORM and Mendoza crabs. How's the leather on the uh, gold scratch, bro? It's fucking ORM. Are you serious? No, no, no. Because he had a period where a lot no, of stuff peeled. No, it's not. Then it wasn't during that. It's fucking on fire. Dude, the stamping is deep. The beveling is good. The burnishing is perfect. Um, honestly, <laughs> Mendoza will have control of these in about Love like. You, Joey. Go ahead, keep snoring. I don't give a fuck what you say. But I'm just saying. Yes, I know it's your belt. I know, I know. The but I'm the guy that's going to customize this, so you better chill out. Wait, whose belt was this? I'm just I'm just a little hungry. I'm in the mood for a hot dog or something. I don't know. A little parched. Oh know? shit, we're over we're over an hour and a half. We're over an hour, hour, half, and, two right, hour and two minutes. Sorry. I'm dyslexic oh. right now. Go on, do it. Take us out of here so that we don't have to worry about no more bullshit. Hey, Mendoza. He's a beat you by Friday, baby. <laughs> Uh, lavender, you know what? I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the pigment, the paint, or whatever they use. Uh, the lavender for some reason lasts a lot longer. I had a uh, I had a tip from a guy overseas. I spoke to him, and uh, what he does is he takes the paint because these paints are water based. They're they're enamel, but they're water based enamel. So what this guy told me to do was thin the first coat out, the first coat, thin it out as much as I can. When I say as much as I can, I don't mean make it transparent. I mean, as best as you can, where it still has its properties and coat the belt so that it has somewhat of a chance to soak into the leather a little bit and it has been yeah, a bit of makes sense. And then after that, thicken it up a little, give it another coat, thicken it up a little, give it another coat until you're up to the color you desired, which makes sense to me because whenever I've tried samples of other paints like that, it cracks. Plus, there is an egg coat they use that I wasn't using before that the color is right on the money and it's rubberized. That way, it doesn't crack on the edges as quick. Should that be the ninety nine, Joey, or is it the two K's right one? I think I think it should should have been the ninety nine, but I think uh, that's the all gold one. I think that's what me and Joey talked about the first time. So no, it, that one. It's not going to be your best right? one, but I tell you what, if you want it to feel right, I got two hundred bucks on that on that ORM. That yeah, should have pain on 90, it, right? You, you can keep it. No offense, two but... 2K is supposed to be get, painted. 99. Listen, we get to fix it however you want, but dude, I'm sorry. Dude, that's not what I paid. You're not getting it. 
Ain't no two hundred dollars. Japan has as bad as edge coating for looking. Yeah, I know they are. They are. They. I looked up a lot no, of their products, give, man. Give, They're pretty give, damn good. Give Joel but, his uh, comment. In the beginning, yeah, they were. It's all kind of like mismatched. The but Joey told me that there's a difference between the the ones that are scratched and painted, <clears throat> and the logo plates, and what time eras each came from, and. To be honest with you, that's one thing that I can't say about ORM is I got their artwork right on every single thing. That's why you got some asshole in the background like, oh, our version 17. Mm. So I'm giving Joey, okay. yeah, yeah, you're right. They, they're not made for this. Well, um, don't, don't damage my goddamn cell, Joey. 200 bucks, Joey. Mm. If you both come up with two hundred dollars together, I might consider it. Ooh, y'all can split it. I mean, your brothers, right? Ooh, I'll, I'll go two hundred one. I'll go. <laughs> I'll go. I'll go. Dude, I'll go four fifty. Lowest I can do. Sorry, better than nope. most of the most of the leather that you have on your belt. So. And it's not even yeah. it's not even Mendoza, but I do have one that we're talking about, and that needs my to go AJ, out. My AJ, my AJ Giddings and Romeo Anderson suck ass. Oh, oh, you're being sarcastic. Okay, we're being sarcastic. Mm. All right, let's do that. Let's ride that out. Listen, talk to me before <laughs> before. <laughs> Talk to me before the end of the week because I gotta ship some shit out to Mendoza. Are you shipping tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I'm thinking so. Probably about three. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll send you tomorrow. I'll send you so, right get, get in, get in the group chat. Oh. He's gonna send. He's gonna be sending me one hundred dollars. But yo, send me everything you got. <laughs> mm. Yo, send me that we in Ingle too because I deserve it. Mm. <laughs> That's what he's gonna be doing. Speaking of that. He's muted, he guys. Can, if you got good quips, you're muted. I did. I did tell you I got a pretty good hookup on an HD plate maker, right? Yes. Things things are about to change pretty soon. Pretty soon. Is it a new era? Uh, I am definitely gonna make myself a Cody Rhodes belt. Yeah, I know. I I saw some. I want to do. That. Age. Can he do a custom? Oh yeah. I was wondering yeah. what kind of custom he could do though. Oh, what I saw him do uh I he showed me some plates he's doing for somebody. It's custom HD. Nice. Very, very I don't nice. want to, I don't want to paint it. I'm gonna paint it myself. Okay. I just want the plates done. I'm, I I ordered some syringes, special syringes for painting areas. I got them. Yep. I, I love them. Holy all my, crap! All my them. Holy in crap! All, world of a different world of a difference, man. In all, in all honesty, Ethan, can I please send you my winged eagle to repaint? No, if, I mean, like this one that I'm gonna send him. Like, all right, we're gonna let you in on some send me, secrets. Send me pictures. Send me pictures. I'm gonna send. What? I'm gonna send him. The belt that he painted. And when I watched, when I looked at it and I was really in depth and I was having it in my hands and I was looking at it with my eyes, like, holy fuck, dude. This is really good. This isn't how it was. Ethan is one hell of a fucking painter. And this is coming I from enjoy painting. I enjoy painting. So, Ethan, if I, if we get this, uh, this United States on Mendoza title done so you could raise Just it high in the air. And I put it in the box, and you just take care of me, and just tell me, yeah. tell me how much. Just count. I'm not gonna charge. I'm not gonna charge you. I'm not gonna charge you. That's something I fucking enjoy doing. All right. Well, I just need. I need some stuff tightened I, up. That's I it. just want to go. I want to. It's perfect. I want to address this real quick before. Uh, let me see before we lose this comment right here because I have both of these gentlemen on here. Um, he says Stone Cold says I'm gonna need to make uh, some orders really soon. 
Money Inc. Tag is next on my list along with a smoking skull. Now, listen. Uh, my boy, Michael Nelson is watching. You might want to hook up with him. He has some HD smoking skull plates with me at the moment. Um, he's no longer going to do the strap. But you guys should hook up. Talk prices because um, he's got some nice HD plates. You want a smoking skull? Hit each other up because uh, he might give you a hookup price on that. Who knows? But talk to each other. Michael Nelson. Talking about these. me? No, no, no. I was talking to um, Stone Cold the there on the comment. As far as the um, Money Inc., I got mine done by Leonas. Plates are fabulous. <coughs> fabulous. Uh, <coughs> I got to say, though, his etching, because I did get a SD. And even though it's shallow, they are very clean, very clean, super clean. Um, for my personal connection collection, I don't always want to fiddle with the leather. I I hardly have time for sometimes the amount of leather work I take in. So usually when I want to trust trust somebody to do the leather, and I don't want to fiddle with it, I go to Leonas. He does pretty damn good leather. He does it pretty pretty nice. It's just, it's stiffer than I would like it to be. So I always have to condition it for a while. But um man, I, I got my uh it was SD on leather, and I think I picked it up for 650 from him. Damn, damn nice money ink he made for me. Hey, I'll tell you what, Vinny, I literally Shot the color on today. Not to toot my own horn, but I think every time I get my hands on, and like right before I started yours, I did three crumb rinds. Okay. Just so I'm perfecting my skill a little bit more and more and more. But by the time I got to yours, brother, those edges, the strap, the leather thickness, the oiling, the color I shot today on it, awesome. Tomorrow I'll put the sealer on it. I'm gonna punch all the holes in for the hand stitching. Man, uh, no lie, it's coming out nice. And that's not to toot my own horn. It's coming out very, very nice, man. It's probably gonna be, to date, the best crumb rind I've done. Like, you guys, if you go to my uh, page, you guys can see the crumb rind send out straps I've been doing. I got a guy waiting for a uh, what I call my own little flavor on things. I call it the tobacco strap. So it's the brown with the black edges uh, where I soften out that black edge all the way around. I airbrush it in. People seem to like that. So, but Vinny, it's coming out beautiful, brother. It really is. And that's not just because I'm doing it. I'm just, it's coming out really, really nice. Yeah, I know how you feel, man. And, and that's what people don't understand. It doesn't matter if it's W-E, the W, the F-W-F. We just really like to see that W-F on everything. And it's got... And it's nothing against WWE Shop, whether you like boots or not. But when you want to see that W-F on there, you got to go with who you got to go. Yeah, you know, I, I have been keeping my eye on him. We've been inboxing each other quite a bit. Um, same thing with the Rocha Bell, same thing with other makers. And I'll sit there for like almost two, three hours messaging these guys and trying to get through the language barrier and understanding things. And it gets exhausting sending them pictures of the tools I have, what they need. I have to even do short videos for them to show them exactly how I use the tools. So, I'm not trying to say I'm changing the game, but I'm definitely trying to steer it in a better direction with some of these makers. So, sometimes, I think everybody has seen how some of these makers have improved their leather in the <clears throat> last six months. In the last six months. So, I think, I think uh, everybody has seen that by now. And I don't want to say I made that happen, but I do want to say that I... 
I think I've contributed a lot to that, man, to be honest. And no, no, no kidding, brother. It, it does. Um, Ali Anas does have good stuff, brother. I got better. Oh, Michael, you just got the crumb right? Brother, nice. Oh, dude. Yo, you got to post pictures of that thing. He does. I really want to see it on the place, brother, because that one went all the way to Hawaii. I, I'm going to love seeing that. Yo, I'm, yo put, up, put, up, put up Kevin's post right now because he had like almost all of WrestleMania right. It looks like a walnut hardwood floor that you did to a strap. Yo, dude, oh, honestly, you, <laughs> I could not put it in the better words. Dude, I like this guy. Kevin, my dude. Yeah. Um, I think of everybody that has kind of put up certain things on their groups no lie i think that arosha is the only one actually buying american grade leather i've seen pictures of these guys these makers are they put up pictures of them buying uh leather oh i have american leather they're just trying to fool people but i can look at a piece of leather and tell you oh that's brazilian uh that is from euro um, this is Pakistan and this is American. I could straight up tell, man, to, you, you, a trained eye, you can't lie to a trained eye. And what I've seen from Erosha, when you get his, uh, upgraded leather, you, you are actually getting American, uh, veg tan leather on that. No lie. No lie. So when do we stop the whole upgrading and just make it standard? Like no, no camel shit, no bullshit. Just well, can, can you it, stop making them across, across I don't the think board. you're gonna stop that because they need their angles to make their money. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. it's already paid for. I just sent it. It's already paid for. No, you did not. Did you really just now? Yeah. Okay. Let me just put it down real quick. Did that, that thing get money. softer? You've Yo, been I playing. You, you've been playing I with that. you not, dude. It smells just like a thick leather jacket. It still smells. You know what my dude? You've Never been mind. playing with that. Not it, I just saw it go really limp and, and okay, soft. Confirm, confirm payment. Dude, you've been playing with that. Just for everybody to know, I like my belts to be semi stiff or no, semi soft. You know what's fucked up is that he just sent this to me to because I like it. Display he's, it. He's gonna go ahead and just fucking just enjoy it now. Did he just pay for that? Hold on, hold on. It's on camera. I gotta, I gotta confirm. I was. I'm just trying to get my last sniffs. I'm sorry. It smells so good. Are you about to tell me that he got your PlayStation Four too? No, dude. That's yours. I told you that was your. Why are you involving all of our fucking private secrets? I swear to God, I'm gonna talk to you like I talked to Joey last week. Because <laughs> there's no better time than now. And what proves it is this Dude, man down my, here just sending my, payment for if the my belt. Friggin' camera would work if my oh it's not even coming up there. It's just it's just buffering. I have no doubt that Damn this it. thing needs to be packed up as well as the rest of these belts and be sent out. You knew I was looking for a US. Well, you fucking lose you lose, asshole. You just created the leather. You didn't fucking sell me the belt or you didn't paint it. This is a goat milk project. You're a dick. <laughs> I just want to smell it. Though. Hey, it smells like you're goat. You're sniffing private property now. Hands off. Hey, now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, honestly, I, I don't know what the hell is going on with my. You're, you're sniffing his skin. You better stop. That's, That's my his skin, skin right now. No, I haven't got confirmation. You've got your hands uh, on his skin. Saying. Oh, I gotta log in. I gotta log in again. Yo, is it a change? Yo, guys, if anybody, I'll, I'll mention this now. If anybody's not guys, in the group and if you guys, guys want to get on there, guys, I have lost this belt. Do you not see Ethan's look on his face? From the moment he said it, you should have known. This is not me no more. This belongs to the new United States heavyweight champion of the world, 
Ethan no, 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 no. I want you to imitate Amanda. Amanda. Amanda, I'm Amanda and I say it with a shaky I, voice. I can't get that loud. I can't get that loud. <laughs> Damn. I just, to do like that, hey, Ethan? Listen. You just swept it up. <laughs> Bro, I'm sorry. You should have been quicker on the budget. You got to be quicker than that. I can't. This the thing is, about, I got so much equipment to buy right now. You, you know what's I'm literally crazy? about to invest. No lie, guys, right now in the leather game. He's got, he's got the. I don't know if other leather guys do this. Belt. Dude, it looks just like it should look. Guys, I'm about to invest like five G's into like leather equipment. Just because I want it to look better for the people. But I'm not going to get that money back soon, anytime. Dude, look at the burn. Hey, look, hey, look at the burnishing on this bitch. Stay tuned. Review coming. <laughs> first one. First one. I had, I had, I had improved Ethan's belt for him, for Brody yeah. would accept it as his own. But I'll tell you what, it's better than any of them CS shits that he's got. Guarantee you. Yes. Guarantee. You. Bet I money. That I money. Like, I, I, I like 50 bucks more if you say it's better than the classic shields. Listen, One I like my leather. Show. I like my leather at half stiffy. I don't want it flaccid laying on itself, and I don't want it too stiff no, upright. I, I just, I just want to know why it's not my, my my winged eagle doesn't smell like. This. Yeah, what about that scratch on the main plate? No, I just want to talk about your garbage bags that you're packing with. Stop it, because this thing's. Dude. Yeah, Vinny. That's the I only gotta, reason. I gotta, I'm going to get that stitch machine, and it's about 2200 bucks by just the stitch machine. This is literally getting boxed up with the rest it's, of the belt. It's You're going to no see two, two new belts up there next week because it's all I got. Two this new right here, though? Yeah. Stitch. I got to get it, Vinny. I got to get it. Snap test. But somehow, some way, I'll make all the equipment pay for itself. I'll start doing keychains, hats, badges, shoulder badges. Uh, I don't know. I got to come up with ideas. I got to get the stuff paid. I got to get it paid. I don't know. Yo. Yep, that one's out the door. Those two are out. Everything I've showed on my shoulder. Hmm. I mean, that's uh, buying a belt's a good way to end the show. You know, that out there. You know it's amazing, Joey, you, that you think that that's my first one. Because I have more. Actually, that would be my first one. And that one, and that one, both going to Ethan. Because you're going to probably buy them. Joey, I didn't say this till now, but I'm going to tell you right now. Um, I swear I didn't even when you were selling that US Ivory leather it hurt me a little bit because it was one of the nice leathers that I've done before and I was like damn when that belt left there's very few belts when there's some belts that leave here and I go damn this was nice I wish it was a keeper that belt was a keeper I don't know who you ended up selling it to but I wish I wasn't as broke as I was when you put it up for sale. I could have had that belt back because it felt like it needed to be back here at home, to be honest. I don't have a U.S. belt five plater. I, I, it was a good belt. That was a that was a nice belt, man. Very nice leather on that one. Crap. Sucks not to have money at the right time in the right place. Out of the two belts that I'm sending you, you're going to watch your own back. Same Mendoza leather, man. I'm I'm gonna uh, Michael. You know what? You know what the funny thing is about leather? That it's always gonna be mixed feelings. And the reason for that is because no two pieces of leather are alike. They can be kind of similar. But they're never the same. It's a different cow, literally a different cow every time. Some leather softer, some are stiffer. You do whatever you can to soften them up and work with them. 
some tool up really nice some are very hard to tool they don't have the same characteristics between one another and the other um even even on one cow one side of it can be manageable and the other side can be a little more difficult i don't know why that's just the nature of of what it is um you know what i mean that's a lot like our hands the skin on our hands is very tough and the one on our forearms is a lot thinner i don't know what belt? Oh, 400. Oh, God. What belt? Ah, that U.S. What? belt that I relented for him. Holy shit. 400? Are you kidding me? Listen. That no hurt. Offense. I didn't even know the price, but that hurt a little, I didn't, a little more. I didn't even, I didn't even tell you the damn price, but listen. Just know, Ethan's family. And Ethan gets family discounts. So Ethan will get whatever it takes to keep it in the family. I got two brothers over here. There's one on the bottom with a gun showing. Uh, <sighs> apparently, he's not he's not uh, culture shocked no more. He, I like he that, went to go grab an AJ like, Giddings. I like that gun though. That gun is worth way more than AJ Gillings fucking leather. Come on. That's a uh, that gun's a uh, two thousand dollar gun. Yeah, that gun's worth way more than leather. I'm like that too, dude. Any belt I do, if I make a belt for me. It's going nowhere. It, it it stays here. It stays for me. Michael's totally opposite. He said, I've sold so many. <laughs> you know, dude, the market is so hard right now. I'm not going to be. Uh, oh, to be honest. And that's a I keeper. Was, uh, and that's a keeper, Joey. There's. Yeah, you, you don't. It's a but damn beautiful bill. To, to be one thing. Number one. I'm sorry. If you think you can get a belt on Mendoza leather for $300, $400, you're out of your damn mind. No offense, but you're going to buy the belt. You're going to call Mendoza. You're going to pay the extra money. You're going to pay for a whole nother belt. And then you're going to have a complete belt. And we're going to talk about what Ethan's family discount was. We're not going to talk about that because that's none of your business. Mm. That's part of the financial mm. shut, shut the F up thing. Oh, uh, okay. Mm, but okay. listen, I'm just telling you, Mendoza's leather is worth as much as what you just said for that belt. That's what you're paying for. Okay. So get your own plates. Punch, yeah, punch, le leather is not punch, cheap. Punch your own yeah. plates, boy. Leather just went up. A whole buttload. I'm Not doing yet. a uh, smoking skull belt. I quoted it for what I've done other smoking skull belts for. The leather, when I went back to purchase the leather, the, the snakeskin backing. Holy shit. Ethan? That leather went up. Fifty dollars more from the last time I ordered it. So leather's not getting uh, cheaper. Not, not yet, Kevin. What are we talking about here? Oh, that's from the was. Some I got in the works. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Is it from Nawaz or somebody else? Somebody else. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Bro, the first smoking skull I had, Mendoza. I had Mendoza do all together purchase was 500. Sold it for 800. Leather is crazy. Bro, I'm telling you. I'm sorry. Like, dude, you keep. Not to too Dude, I have, but... I have, I have, I have. Shut up. Don't toot your home. I'm going to tell you, I have ORM. I've never had Classic Shields, but I hear ORM is better than o than Classic Shields at a certain point. What I will say... Hey, what's up, Jim? What the fuck you been at? Jimmy just woke up from his afternoon open mouth old man nap. But I'm telling you right now, there's no Change one that does I got I two of these right here. Yo, Tony. That's, Tony. That's ORM. Tony, that, Tony, same thing upstairs. I asked Jim what he thought about my leather, and he said, "Well, <clears throat> <laughs> that's the new one, guys. That's the new one. Paul Heyman's badass. Sorry, I thought about it. I'm gonna tell you that your leather is." <laughs> the rest of the stash is in the car. 
uh, Stone Cold says, first Smoky Squad I had was a Loomis, and it was awful. I have heard stuff like that about Loomis. Um, he plates. He makes a damn good quality work. He does damn good quality on his plates. But I have, I have heard some stuff about his leather. <laughs> what I say? You know, I got made fun of on a certain podcast. But bro, just touch it. Just mm. touch the shit. It's, you know. Guys, I'll tell you what. Okay, Joey says Classic Shields is better than RM with the leather. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about that, to be honest. I don't know. I don't know. Joey, what? I have had Classic... Curious? Listen, I've had Classic All Shields right, here, and I have had RM leather come through here. I think out of both of those, I've only looked at some of the RM belts and gone... What the fuck? What's wrong with it? There's nothing wrong with this leather. Why do they want... And I'll admit this. ORM does way better leather than I do. And sometimes I look at it and go, why would they want to... And that's just me being honest. Why do they want to downgrade and have me do the leather on this silver? Depends Depends what you want, my brother. I, I, I know there's specifics. And it's cheaper to have it done to me than send it all the way over to Pakistan and all that shit. I get that. But sometimes, man, I've looked at that RM stuff and gone, damn, damn, like seriously, like what? Could if I want, but I don't. You see all that thing when I was watching your reviews and stuff? I, I don't really feel like, dude. You should see this fucking winged eagle in person. I swear to God, you might be like, what I the haven't. Fuck am I spending all this goddamn money on all this time? I'll be honest. Sorry, dude. It's, it's and, and no lie, because this is probably smoking. the most I can't recent find a thing wrong with it. The most That's recent leather I've seen from Classic Shields, not held, but seen, has to be Matt Panetta's winged eagle, and I gotta say that looked pretty damn. Perfect to me. I mean, I have, I have it. not, I have not held a classic shields belt that, that somebody has had done in the last six months. Put it that way. So I can't. I've held, I've held more RMs come through here than than in, than classic shields, and not because RM is worse than classic shields and they want it releathered. I think that classic shields. Uh, over time has held a higher value. So people are more likely not to touch that, leave it alone. Um, even even my partner here has said right. before, if you want a belt that is well-rounded all the way around, and you just don't want to mess with a belt, classic shields. From the finish to their plates to the leather, all around is a damn good belt. So I think that's what it is, you know. But I have seen okay, some... So- Give me give me one second here. Because I want to address my counterpart that always used to, he likes to bust my balls. I have heard that's that Classic Shields has upgraded their their leather. And I have seen videos up no since 2022, not 2002. So I don't think I've I will say I I I've heard that their leather has improved. I actually, I hear it's the best. That's what I've heard. But to be honest with you, when I... Dude, I just call my boy to my left. And... All he has to do is do... He, that's what he does. Every time I call him, he's like, I'm cooking. And then, all of a sudden, a belt shows up. Hey, at, now that and, you say that, just real quick, let me stop real quick. Guys, this is fucking annoying. It's part of the game, but it's annoying. He literally called me earlier in the middle of the call. I was working on some plates. I was grinding down some plates and some studs. Too fucking please, loud. Please talk to your makers. 
have them start properly welding your hardware to your fucking plates. Have them properly put on oh, Chicago-style mounting screws to your plates, please. Blow them up. You need Blow to up. push Blow that. Up. Push it. You need to force them to start using that system. Weld it. We got a guy out here that's nowhere close to oh, RM or Classic Shields. His name is Jagu Jan. Doing Chicago style shop screw system welded solid to the back of his plates with zero problems to this day with it. But I've had problems with RM, Classic Shields. I've had problems with the Leonas. All that shit snapping off. I'm telling you guys. Hey, hey. You need to force this? these guys to make a move in the industry. Tell them, hey, you're going to make these plates for me. I need you to weld the the, the system in the back of that Chicago Why don't you bring, screw style. Bring up, bring up some pictures that you sent me. Uh, let let me send you a picture from my inbox there, so you can share it on the screen real quick, okay? Because this is what um. Put it right up in the chat and bring it right up. Okay, and what but I need Joey, Chicago screws. Joey, I'm Joey, no no offense, but there is all right. I'll leave it to the maker. I sent you. Hey, the, I sent hey, you the pictures. Hey, Doza, tell Joey how many things are wrong with the belt that I just showed off. Tell me how many things. Go on, you tell him. I can't tell him. He don't listen. Go on, tell him what's wrong with my wing diggle. Tell him. Honestly, a long time. honestly, there isn't really anything wrong with your plates. There's nothing wrong with the leather. And for the price, for the price, there's minute things on there that you can change, but you would have to pay nine. Eh, you would probably pay seven to nine hundred dollars more just to get those little little details done. Where like 90% of these collectors wouldn't recognize and you can live with it, honestly. Like, you still got HD, you still got 4 millimeter, you still got 24 real carat plating, all your plates are curved, you got thick sidebars, you got American leather. Well, Joey. For under, dare I say 900? Dare I say under 850? Why don't you, you know shut what I mean? the fuck up, alright? Why don't you stop what, telling somebody one before piece you start losing money out of your own Dare I, Dare I say under, okay, I'm gonna stop right there. But, you're, you're cutting yeah. yourself off, dude. You're cutting but, yourself off. But bro. you know what I'm saying, though. I'm just saying, just saying. But I'm telling you right now, guys. You guys need to push. I will. I if things. Just give me a second here, Tony. I, I never tell you to do this, but give me a minute. Let me just vent a little bit. This industry with these makers doesn't change because the change literally starts here. If we do not ask and push and preach these things to these makers and crash and crush this language barrier and get them to understand what we really need, what we really want, the shape of banners, the direction of wrestlers or grapplers on plates, the thickness, the curvature, the everything. If we do not do this, the mounting points, how they want them, I've seen so many plates, even from Classic Shields and RM, where the the mounting screws are all cocked one way higher than the other, sideways, nothing centered off. How hard is it to hold a goddamn screw to the center and torch that bitch and solder that fucker onto the back and weld it? It's not that difficult. Come on. I mean, if you're gonna do if you're gonna do it with a post, you might as well do it with a Chicago screw. It makes it better. I easier. get these I get these plates from Jagu Jan. I punch my holes when it's time to mount these fucking plates. I put them on the leather, screw the screw in with some Loctite. I'm done. Everybody else, I'm sitting there filing, grinding, cutting off the back bolts. It's ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. And Good thank God I'm turning video. a Rosha belt onto this system. Rosha is already starting to do it. But we have to push for those things and let these makers know you're not going to get my business unless these things are going this way you guys got to do it stop paying for a fucking belt in full with these makers 
Give them a small deposit. When you see results, then maybe, maybe you give a little more. But this has to happen. It starts with us, not with them. There is there is a, a cause and an effect to everything. We have to cause it to happen so it takes effect on them. And we have to change the hobby this way. We created the monsters that are over there. It's not their fault, man. We created the monsters over there. This is right here. These are plates I'm correcting right now. The mounting chopped off all the damn screws on the back because they were snapping off. And now I'm putting Chicago screw systems. Look how much more surface is grabbing onto the plate, securing there. There's more, ladies and gentlemen, but this is the only one that I'm going to load up right now. Because... And then the screw goes right from the back to the just like a shop belt. And then you got nothing to grind off. It's a beautiful, it's... nice, round surface that the leather can cover over. Ladies and gentlemen, this is every plate. I have all pictures of every single plate off of this belt. Guys, just do... Can we go see him punk on these screws? Dude. Can we go see him see him punk screws? What are we doing? Mm. Like, dude, you know what happens when your leather, even if you have to grind that thing down just a little bit, like the receiving end. Yeah. And even maybe a little bit of the screw. Does that not make your belt, the backing, look smoother with every <laughs> bolt? And, and, and that's okay, Dylan. Like, I, I invite anybody, and I apologize to anybody if it takes long for me to get to you guys. I used to be able to just answer anybody on the fly, but now I have a lot of people people reaching out to me on different platforms, and it's getting a little more difficult. Sometimes I scroll and I miss, but I try to go back as much as I can. Uh, Kevin O'Keefe says, yeah, Antonio, you know the second we asked them to do a Chicago system, is the second they try to jack up the price for the belts. But honestly, oh, no. Oh, come on. Why? Um, Why? Aliyah Nas Why, tried to pull that shit on me, and I told him like this. Oh, you can't do Chicago screws? Okay, that's okay. Not a problem, dude. I, I got a maker I can go to. What did he do? Bro, don't worry. I do for you. Don't worry. Don't worry. He literally told me, ha I was just kidding. No problem. I do for you. So, guys, don't be afraid to kick, them, kick, their, kick their ass to the side. You know what I mean? Don't be afraid Let's, to do that. Let, hey, acknowledge your goddamn grandpa. It is time for us to make a stand as purchasers of these damn belts. Because, dude, if you don't, we are screwed. Yeah. We are done, and, and, dude. And this is another, this is a good point that Joey's making. He says, if you're happy with the belt, that's all that matters. That is very true. We all have a budget. We all have a budget, but we're always going to push for the max we can get out of that budget, right? And then he says, my issues is you have people that will say that the uh, that it is the same level as Classic Shields or M. Nawaz or Anaz. That is a whole other different thing because beauty is in the eye of the beholder, honestly. I will tell and, you one thing right now. You know what? This makes me feel like I have to get this belt. And Just here's so the I thing. I tell you that it's not as good. I'm going to tell you. Um, I've known guys sending me stuff for re-leather where they're like, you know what? Um, I kept upgrading to belts, but once I got to ORM or Classic Shields, they really didn't see that big of a difference. It has to be a huge step up of a difference for them to justify saying it was, they felt good about paying an extra eight, 800 to a G for that belt and for some people i get it it's the gold standard you know what i mean um when i first started this hobby i wanted to own the classic shields i wanted to own an rm now not so much it's really not that big of a deal to me anymore that's just my take it's not a big deal you know what i mean yeah i know Vinny, and i get you man but again it all comes down to communication I've seen a lot of guys get HD belts from certain makers. I'm not going to name them. I'm not nice here to hurt anybody's. Lady. I'm not here to hurt anybody's feelings. But they get Maybe the, we should... the plate wrong. The banner, Sorry, 
the world banner is not the right shape things like that but with communication things can get better you know what i mean i've certainly okay. done it well listen i'm gonna tell you this right now if you do, if you want to make a stance and you want to tell them that we're going to change this hd game that i think i think it's a little bit time for you to start telling people who doesn't listen because dude we know what we went through with mine and the extent that it took to make it perfect we had to change plates we had to change yeah relief banners we had to change so much stuff with this one maker and it took a lot longer than it should have i it should not hell. take that i, I know you did I, I know i know you did i know you did he made three what sets I'm of saying, plates bro hd i put him through that's, hell. that's crazy bro just to get this yeah. one little Calm down. I'll be I'll be back in a minute. Listen, so, uh I'm right, I'm on my way, baby. Tony Luciano says, Hi there. Who makes the best wing deal in your opinion? In my opinion, Antonio Mendoza. In in my opinion, the best wing deagle is what you can get for your budget. No, that's no, what my that's opinion not, is. That, that is not what he asked. Yes, that is said, not what he asked. Answer listen the question. To, listen to the question. He says, Hi there. Who makes the best, the best wing deagle in your opinion, my opinion, or your opinion? My opinion is that you're only going to get the best wing deagle you can get for your budget. If you have $200 for a wing deagle, I know where I'm going to send you. If you have $500 for a wing deagle, I know exactly where to send you. If you have $1,000 for a wing deagle, I know where to send you. If you have two G's to $2,500, best believe I know where to send you. Now, how many guys out there are making wing deagles for $2,500, $3,500? That's, so that's a whole going? nother ball game and discussion. How many guys are making wing deagles for $1,500? Hold, hold on. Hold on. We're going back to the SD HD thing you know you know sd hd that that's the biggest thing that these guys worry about let me answer this so, let Platinum me says, let me no let me ask never you. try using washers before putting the bolt on yes you put washers on washers do not take away the amount of tension you need to fasten the plate to it to, to the leather and to be honest these bolts on these on these plates that i've installed I don't even think I even put 15 pounds of pressure on there. Literally, I put the socket. Listen, not have, a ratchet, have, a socket have, onto tension, the nut. Do you have tensioners? And I turned the socket by hand. And as I squeezed it, snap. It happened to like eight or nine of them. And I go, you know what? I'm cleaning house. I took all of them off. All of them off. Clean house. That's what I had to do. I'm not going to risk putting plates on and then having these things separate from the leather. As it is, there's a risk to that happening now. But at least I know that the JB Weld is going to be a lot stronger than some janky welding on some bolts. Yo, my man Kevin O'Keefe hitting every god note. It kind of goes to the same question that I was going to ask. So... When you go HD, right? You're getting an HD belt. You're going through Mendoza. You're getting an HD belt. Are we going 2% HD, 5% HD, SD half or SD HD split? Like, what kind of, like, dude, it's HD or nothing. Like, it's either American standard or there's nothing. When is that going to happen? So we can all just be like, all right, we're all getting the same damn belt. Like, when are we going to work on that so that we're all we're all clear? It's not going to become a standard for them because we're talking about. And I don't want to say it like this. I don't want to say they're a third world country, but we're talking about a country where the economy, the value of their dollars really low. People are out there starving, brother. Um if you look at a lot of these workshops, when you go to their videos and stuff like that, these guys are barefoot 
They're not even sitting on chairs. They're like crouching down on their knees, sitting on their ass. And that's because that's what they do. Dude, I, I, dude, I was on I, my I knees. Understand. Today. No offense. I wasn't, I don't, I'm not a sex worker, but I was, I was I, taping I, bass. I was painting. I was doing like, I work hard too. So like, here's the thing. No matter what you do here, how broke you are. When you're going to start yourself off in any profession, and I know this from when I started doing leather, when you're going to start yourself off in any profession of any kind, you know we need a certain amount of tools, a certain amount of knowledge, and a certain way and technique of doing things. You don't try to half-ass everything, and that even includes the posture that you do things. You know what I mean? You're not going to paint walls uh, by grabbing an old sweater and rolling that bitch on a piece of cardboard and calling it a roller to paint walls for yourself that's not gonna happen you know you gotta save a certain amount of money to get a proper roller on a proper roller handle and an They're extension an extension one a proper strainer a proper paint you know what i mean it's so, how it's how it has to go down i tell you what there's a proper way to do every job ethan knows this you know this everybody knows what you guys do you take pride in so what i'm saying is when do we have to stop calling it hd sd or say like oh this isn't as good as the other one when when how do we do that because it seems like we've been trying and honestly there's a lot this, of other this, people that have been trying uh, to honestly this. this only happens it takes, in it takes all of us this only happens in Pakistan and it only happens with makers in Pakistan because I've spoken to a company out there in China where these guys are getting their, their, their plates from. And when you talk to them about etching something and you have artwork for them to etch, they don't ask you, Oh, would you like this in uh, SD etching or high quality etching? There is no such thing. They do everything in one standard, a proper, yeah, what it sounds like. clean, etching process could you elaborate more tony luciano honestly that's a that's a okay. gangster ass name bro but okay could, could you that's... elaborate on the best winged eagle and makers let me simplify this when you're gonna go buy shoes and somebody says you're gonna be you're gonna be going to a job where the floor is very slippery I love this. And thing. okay, give me a second. Give me a second. You're going to be starting a job where the floors are very slippery. You need a certain a certain type of shoes, a certain type of wardrobe, and you start work on Monday. You got to go get this stuff, right? So, what do we call a proper pair of shoes for the application you're going to use? Are you just going to go to Payless and buy yourself those standard regular work boots? How or long do you want them to last? Well, are they going to do the job right? Does exactly. it say oil resistant and you're going to step on some fucking oil and you're going to slip and eat shit on the ground? Or are you going to go to some place where they at least have proper shoes or boots and they're going to actually function the way they're going to function? That's what I'm talking about. We're talking that there's a difference between Payless and Foot Locker here. Okay. And then somewhere in the middle, you have a certain standard for quality shoes and you work from that point up. A proper car for you to drive to work every day and back is a reliable Honda or a Nissan. It doesn't necessarily mean you need a Mercedes or a Maybach to drive to work and back every day or a Ferrari. Okay, there are levels. I think a, a well done winged eagle, something you can be happy with from leather to plates to everything, you can find it for six to eight hundred bucks. I wouldn't recommend spending two hundred dollars on a winged eagle and be happy forever with it, but you know, I also yeah, dude, my that's, personal that's, e that's that's eBay. You know what I mean? My personal that's, opinion that's eBay prices. I wouldn't spend two thousand dollars on a winged eagle. That's just me. But that depends on what I'm happy with, man. The proper winged eagle is whatever you can afford. It's whatever you can honestly, afford and we're going to be happy with. I'll tell you my story. I'm waiting. I still been waiting and I'm still talking with uh, Classic Shields. And I'm debating whether to buy them 
buy it or not. I have an extra flock with a with a curved cut, kind of like Joey's. But then I also have my Bret Hart diesel cut. There you from, go, Tony. Like, there you I, go. I really don't see. There you go. Like he That's said, I mean, if I'm buying, he says, if I'm buying shoes for work, I'm going to buy the top of the line work boots that provide protection and wear well. I'm, I'm on the fence now, but honestly, I'm going to reveal a little bit. So just so I can't, I can stop getting these fucking Joey V comments. I'm also a grown man and I also have goals. And I also am trying to buy a house, which I'm like, I'm going on Friday. I'm this close. Like, dude, I'm like, there's certain things that are more important than belts. So when it comes time to buy a belt, buy it from somebody that you know and trust. Reputation is key. Yeah, they did, Joey. They did. They lied. Mm -hmm. Would you like more on, on air? Are you trying to, are you going to try to blow me into CS2? I don't know if it was you or somebody else, but when CS comes and talks to me, they don't talk to me like I I was fucking with them. So please keep me out of your, your shenanigans. I'm saying I have my own thing, my own idea of when or if I will buy said belt because I have a grown person mentality. I have goals. I have accomplishments that I'd like to attain. Dude, do not, do not let somebody like this little asshole on the bottom of the screen get in your head and think you have to buy something because you don't. There's a better way to go about it and you get the same thing. Dude, if not, it's something that it will, it will satisfy you enough. Don't try to compete with anybody that's trying to go classic shields. You need to get one. You need to get one, brother. Listen, no, this, dude, this is something that... Just check this get out. what you can afford, bro. Yeah. That's it. Check this out. And this is very important, what Vinny says here. He says, my limit is 1300 He Boom. says, that's the most I have ever spent. Most I'll ever spend. I'll never wait years for a belt either. Here, let me tell you guys something. I have had customers that have spent $1,600 on a Classic Shields belt. And they still buy the same exact belt again from Classic Shields because they feel they need to upgrade to something better. Some people are just never satisfied. They are never satisfied. They, I want to know who got the, who got that who got number two. They will buy a belt for a thousand, then buy one for twelve hundred, then they'll buy one for sixteen hundred, then they'll be, buy one for twenty five hundred. $3,000. They will never be satisfied. By the time you guys spend that money, save your money, put five, six G's in your investment and go get yourself a Reggie Parks belt. Go get yourself a real Dave Milliken. If that's the type of investment you're going to get, you're not going to get any better than that. If you're really looking for that, stop looking for the unicorn. Be satisfied with what you got. Bro, you're kind of right. Like we shouldn't be buying this shit as grown men. We should be saving for money for for late for rainy days. We should. That's what we should be doing as grown. Men. But listen, it's too hey, late. Platinum, yet. you're right, brother. Uh, if you're trying to satisfy the world, it's not gonna happen. You're not gonna make the world happy. It's not gonna happen. It doesn't matter what makes them happy. There's it always what gonna makes be you happy. There's always going to be people get, that are going to give you your flowers for getting what you got. And then there's going to be people that are going to shit all over your uh, belt like it's a car in the parking lot of a Walmart. And the bird and pigeons are all over it. It's just how it is. But make sure you're happy with what you got, guys. Make Wait. sure you're happy with what you got. Oh, yeah. Never mind. I'm not going to ask that question. I already know the answer for it. It's not a pissing contest. It really isn't. It's not. Like, dude, I'm not measuring dicks here. I just, I got a really nice belt from our, an awesome maker. But if you came seeing this shit in person, you'd be like, yeah, that's good. I will be honest with you, Joey. I am curious about owning a Corey King belt. I don't know why, but I am what was curious the big, about. What was the big deal with, with Corey King? 
Uh, well, he's an American guy and he's making plates here in the United States. Is he still around? I heard he wasn't around. No, I don't know, but I've been curious about it. I've no, I haven't taken the time to reach out and see what I can find, but I've I've heard from a lot of people that have a Quarry King and they're happy with it. They say it's really nice. So I don't know. I don't know. At this point, I've talked to uh, so many I makers, seen so many belts, worked on so many belts that I don't really know and don't care anymore who has the correct art from an original Reggie Parks belt. I really don't. I really you know, don't. Let me, the belts let me, you bought. Let, let's put it this way. The shoes you get at the store, even when you got them from Foot Locker, and there were Jordan 6s, Jordan 7s, Jordan 9s. Were they honestly really the exact same shoe Jordan wore? To specifications, size, color, and the materials? Was it really? We don't know. Who cares? I'll tell you what. I want to make some glass shatter before this thing goes down. Because Stone Cold Steve. Stop. I like that comment. Uh, he's right. Dude, to be honest with you, you haven't seen shit. I put both of those up in my room. The shit you see behind me is shit that's being mailed out. I, it's true. not my favorite shit. Like, this is true. Platinum. Come on. Dude, platinum. Talk about it. Talk. Dude, man. What do you guys want to talk about? Talk about it. <laughs> talk about it, baby. Talk about that shit. You know what I mean? Kevin, since I've never been happier than the day I got my first shop belt, I feel like the more you learn, the more miserable you can become within the hobby if you become a stickler for the deal. And that is also true. That is also true. It's like marrying the woman you love for the rest of your life, but then you're going to nitpick everything she does. Brother, the perfect man and perfect woman does not exist because I married her. She's at my house. Okay, that's why. Are you telling me he's too late to the party? <laughs> Guys, listen, we've been on here for over two hours. I got to pack up some belts because Ethan's going to be waiting on me and he will... He will. He would rather fly his ass up here and whoop my ass than me not mail his belt off tomorrow. So I'm gonna go look for some wrappings. And go for belt. it. I I'll take it from Boxes. here, buddy. I got this. I got right. this. Don't you, worry. You, you, you got this, baby. I'll be on here for a little bit longer. People want questions Gold answered. Milk. Thank you guys baby. for joining in. Thank you for being here. You know we love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I know. I'm not the main star of the show. It's it's usually this guy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave you with the star of the show, Rob. Guys, it's just us. Thank God they left, right? We've been waiting for them to leave. Choo! Now we're really talking about what we wanted to talk about, right? Oh God. <laughs> Let me take another zip of this thing right here. Guys, honestly, um, beauty's in the beholder. Get what you can, get what you like, get what you can afford. That's all that matters, man. And, and that's also true. Everybody's, okay, everybody's game evolves. If somewhere to say, and this, this is just for shits and giggles, guys. If somewhere to, someone today were to say, Oh, I've had such and such as leather, and I have Mendoza Crafts leather that I got in 2018. Such and such is way better than Mendoza Craft leather because I own it and I can tell the difference. Yeah, I totally get that. I may have not have been as good four years ago. Comparing my work now to somebody else's today might be a little different. We all level up. We level up with time. Some people take a little longer than they take a big jump. Um, some people progress very steadily and keep moving on ahead. Um, when I started in this hobby, I remember that uh, there was nobody better than Paul Martin. Now, my personal favorite real leather guy, my personal real leather favorite guy is Daniel Ripley from Drip Belts. That's my most favorite leather guy from the work I've seen. You know what I mean? 
Let me see. Yeah, it's never right. It's all handmade. You can never duplicate anything handmade twice. It's very difficult. Michael Nelson says, uh, at this point, after all the makers I've purchased from, uh, I'm good with classic shields, alienas, and great custom belts. That's what I like. I don't care what others got to say. I love the belts I have from them. And see, that's that's another thing right there, right there. Look at the guys he's talking about. Classic shields, alienas, and great custom belts. If you were to ask anybody, is great custom belts anywhere near the realm of alienas or classic shields? They say, no, no way. You're crazy to compare that. But here's a guy very happy with the results. And I know Mel Michael Nelson, he's a stickler for detail. And if he's happy with that, he's happy, guys. So, you know, come on. He says, uh, ship those two. Uh... <laughs> it's got to be. Uh, it, you got to have been talking to, to uh, the Tony Leonidas, man. I don't have any belts behind me. Except for the very important most important title right back there guys that is the one that broke the hobby platinum says uh my discount should be up <laughs> to six and if it wasn't for these belts jesus christ what's up josh how's it going brother good to have you on here thank you for tuning in brother kevin o'keefe he says one question i have antonio that uh may have been skipped over is do you have any tips for uh curving Network logo shop plates. I do not. Uh, my most favorite tip that I can say that I've heard is somebody said that they take, um, you know, those kind of toe straps, the kind of ratchet straps. They put the plate around a, a thick round pole, either a bucket or any object that's round. They'll put the plate, put a cardboard or something so it doesn't damage the plate. And they start pulling at that strap tension to get it to curve it now in my personal opinion is i couldn't imagine you doing that without the gems popping out of place i don't know uh, but that's what people have done i've never curved one myself to be honest zelen says uh, mendoza what's your uh vetting process for these plate makers seems like they're a dime a dozen they are a dime a dozen they are a dime a dozen and i go to different makers uh, for different things. There are makers that are very good at doing a big eagle and a big eagle only. There are makers that are good at making an IC title and only an IC title. There are makers that do a very good winged eagle and only a winged eagle. So there is no right answer to this. There isn't just a specific maker. Um, you want to really clean, affordable HD, uh wing d or icy go to nawaz go to nawaz if you want something maybe a step up from that or the same i would say go to leonas and there's not much room there except that you would go either to rm or classic shields if you have the money but there are things that are budget a little more budget friendly david what's up brother david cummings uh will the send out straps be uh going up in price as well you know what uh, i i always try and and literally um i message even other leather guys in this game um i've messaged maybe three or four leather guys this past week and tried to have them jump on ship from where they order their materials on to where i order materials because i'm always doing price comparisons i'm not loyal to and this goes the same with plates I'm not loyal to one maker. I'm not loyal to one leather company. So I try to match the quality and try to keep the price down. So that's a very important thing in this industry. Don't be loyal when it comes to purchasing materials. Um, go where you get the better deal for the same quality. Don't compromise the quality. Just make sure the money is a better deal. Um, so I try to keep it down. I just ordered some snake leather. For a smoking skull, it went up 50 bucks. I ended up charging the customer. That's on me. Um, I think that this industry is going to change. Every year, the prices are going to go up. But I really try to not 
raise prices until I really, really have to. So yeah, I really strive for that, man. Kevin says, Drip Belts is great. I agree. Love seeing his work. He does awesome work. He really does, brother. Vinny says, uh, Classy Show makes the best big green. You don't see many because they cost a lot. Makers are catching up, but uh, but not yet. And that is true. Uh, you know, they have these makers. Uh, I know a maker. He hasn't attempted it yet, but he has a CNC machine. He's going to attempt to make one. To be honest, everybody makes it with a regular one axis CNC machine, which the drill goes down in the material and just moves around like this. Okay, no matter what it is, it just plunges and cuts. This maker has a four axis CNC machine, which means that the bit can move and go up down the bit can turn plunge in sideways it's it moves in four ways so it's really nice so hopefully when that big green he attempts comes out Vinny, i know you're gonna see it you're gonna hear about it so it's gonna be really really nice josh uh just roach says as a uh, signature for detail myself i understand that there are limits uh whenever be one of the exact details can be right type of stick sticklers um if you and you're right if you're gonna be that way get a reggie and to be honest if you're that much of a stickler for detail you're gonna just be disappointed with a reggie because you're gonna find out that even reggie made mistakes on his belts he didn't make a perfect belt guys he sure as hell didn't i've seen his leather work and as he got older it got worse and worse it really did it got worse uh platinum if it's hollow, I wouldn't try to bend shot plates. I wouldn't either. Honestly, I, I haven't tried it and I wouldn't want to try it. And that is what makes the hobby fun. Everybody's forgotten how to have fun in the hobby, to be honest. Kevin says, I ordered a classic uh, CZs. Uh, so I'm uh, restoning it. I want to get my uh, desired curve on the main plate before I get started with drilling and replacing. Uh, yeah, I would say, dude, try curving it yourself, honestly. Don't leave that up to somebody else. Um, try to do that yourself where you're satisfied because if you leave it to somebody else, you might not like it or they might ruin it. And you're really putting a lot of responsibility and pressure on that person. Uh, Kevin says, I see double shoulders on frog jelly, 9 to 10 ounce or Springfield. I forget which one uh, for around 80 or $100. I do. I used to order frog jelly. I used to order Springfield leather. Not anymore because the best you're going to get up for that deal for $80 for a double shoulder. They're very small. You could probably get only two straps out of it. Um, is Brazilian leather. And they don't dye consistently. They accept the dye really nicely. But you can't get a uniform consistency. Especially a guy like me that does leather. If. I have a strap for Chrome and they call it a tobacco finish. I could not promise the same results almost every time with an inferior leather. When I say inferior, I don't mean the quality. I mean inferior in the way that it 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 sucks up the dye and lets the dye uh, be visible. So inferior in that way it is. You have to get something from a tannery that makes it very consistently well so i do have experience with them i used to order them all the time i don't anymore josh roach says uh but i absolutely get where you're coming from about different tiers like where i sent my undisputed to you you offer something that i haven't uh seen someone else do and you do it right thank you so much brother and it's probably the tooling for the undisputed around the edges let me see josh roach again comments same can be said for plates. Quality is in the eye of the beholder as well. Detail as far as a person can drag them, I suppose. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, Kevin O'Keefe says, I appreciate it. Uh, tip on the curving. I'll look into that for sure. Brother, that's the best I've heard for that. Platinum, time for bed. Yeah, brother, break out the lotion bottle. I mean, uh, break out the blankies, right? <laughs> Dylan Hernandez says, what's the total, man? Labor hours to make a strap building complete belt. To, be, 
to build a complete belt, they're all different. Um, sometimes I'll take a very long time on winged eagles. <laughs> I don't know why. The winged eagle sometimes always gets to me because there's so many versions uh, as far as snaps, tooling on the boxes, beveling, the type of pear shape and textures that they use on that. The uh, shape around the uh, side plates, the cut. Um, so that can take some time to always look up info, research pictures, uh, things of that nature. People are most picky with the winged eagle for some reason. It, it's never, it's never the same amount of process. You know what I mean? It's like making pancakes. You never make them the same. You never pour the same pancake every time. That's all I got to say about that. You know what I'm saying? Um, Ben, what's up, brother? Hey, it's okay, man. We're, I'm here for the long haul right now. Fears. Oh, Stone Cold says, oh, thank, I appreciate it, brother. Appreciate that. We have a new, new viewer here, Mr. Ethan Thompson. He says this dude. Nice. Platinum says, do you know how to make the shiny finish on leather? Yes, I do. My favorite finish for the leather is actually a, a satin. I don't like it to be overly shiny and polished. And I don't like it to be super dull. It's whatever the customer requests. And if they don't request it, I usually make it satin. You know what I mean? Um, Kevin responds, it makes sense. As you evolve, you learn more about the leather you upgrade to where you get it. Uh, these hards are advertised as American A, B grade highs that accept dyes and stamping well. Uh, so that's good to know from your experience with them. Yeah, it's definitely Brazilian. I don't know why they advertise it at that. They say American steer. That's what I think they put it as. They say American steer. Well, yeah, they could be American steer, but they were sold off or exported I don't know, 20 years ago, American steer that were exported to Brazil many years ago. And now it's just kind of like a bloodline of cows that they breed or bulls. But here's the difference. Are they free range? Are they surrounded by barbed wire? Or are they out there in the freedom of uh, where they have no fences and the hides are very well taken care of over time? You know what I mean? What method do they slaughter them? All that stuff. It, it depends. Vinny. How do you do the little holes on your crumb rinds uh, to put the thread through? Uh, on the crumb rinds, uh, I don't know if you're talking about the plates themselves or on the holes of the uh, of the leather. I have, when it comes to making holes on the leather, I have punches, certain millimeter size punches. I punch right through the leather on the plates. I have to use a drill press and I have to thread them and then I have to thread lock them when I put the screws in. And I'm getting to the point where if a belt comes in and, and they have those type of screws where it's these tiny itty bitty watch, watch size screws, I'm sending them back. I can't work on them because I already had, I already had two incidents where they weren't fastening right, screws are pulling out, no good. Joshua says, uh, love these lives. Get some good conversations going back to the roots of the hobby. Hey, and, and you know what? And this is what it's about here, guys. We're open to any chat, any kind of things. You uh, you know what I mean? He says the edging. Okay, how do you do the little holes on your crumb rinds to put the thread through? Oh, okay. I know what you mean now. Um, as far as that goes, I use a hole punch. Um... And it's a hole punch with very tiny little holes. First, I have to mark the border. I need that border to be exactly uniformly consistent all the way around. And then I have punches with different amount of holes. It's either an eight punch, a five punch, or two punch, or one hole punch. And I have to make sure that every time I go through that leather, that hole punch doesn't go at an angle or anything. It's going straight down and through. Um, just enough for the thread to cover that hole and make it look really nice and neat um man it's 
takes a long time. Even doing those holes takes so much long. It's so much longer than people think it does. You know, I could spend an eight hour day on a chromite stitching, making sure that thing is done right. Stone Cold says, boy, your boiler's blew it, huh? You were able to get it. <laughs> They, it, it, they were, they stank. They dropped, literally, they dropped the ball. Uh, but I'm not surprised. This is every time they got one hell of a big kid. I forgot what his name is, man. But I mean, thank God I'm not into basketball that hard here. Um, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? We got winners and losers. It's just our turn, man. That's all it was. I did went out to see the Eclipse for a few minutes. Um, I've been through a few clips over my life. You know what I mean? It's no big deal. Kevin says, I appreciate you talking about the leather, uh, how you do. There's a ton of gatekeepers who wouldn't tell us anything about, uh, how to do these things because they're afraid to lose business. No, we're not going to lose business. Contrary to that. I used to have a body shop. I used to do paint work, custom work. I used to do Lambo doors, slamming cars to the ground, rims, sound systems, fabricating, uh, uh, sound boxes, uh, the whole, I used to do upholstery, everything guys. And I would have customers. I had this one customer, this, I'm not going to say customers. I'll be honest. It was one guy, but that's all it took. He was bitching so much about the price that I said, Hey, if you come and help, I'll knock a thousand dollars off. Came in and helped for a day. He thought I was just putting him through a torture test. I said, no, dude, this is how it's done. From tearing down a car to tearing things down to remembering where every screw and bolt goes to to refinishing the metal refinishing the surface to painting and being meticulous with everything um i think what you do is you open the doors for people to get in there and get their hands dirty and it actually makes them respect what you do a little bit more it makes people respect what you do a little bit more they understand the process now it, it makes people respect the process. I know because I went through the whole process myself of just finding out what leather to even start off with. How do you color it? How do you stitch it? Where do you order it from? Who do you get it sent from? You know what I mean? There's tons of things. You have to know what, what temperatures things are done, all kinds of stuff. So yeah, man, it, it doesn't bug me at all to spread the knowledge. I, I don't, it doesn't bother me at all. Not one bit. He says, uh, one of the reasons other than your leather being amazing, uh, that'll be going to you for my world heavyweight leather. Brother, and I'm ready for you whenever you're ready. Uh, you nailed it, man. And people who want to learn this stuff are going to do it one way or the other. Denying them knowledge isn't going to uh, gain a customer. And I'm not trying to gain customers, guys. You know, I've always said this from the beginning. This is something I do as a hobby. I love to do it. And I refuse to make this turn into another job. I have a job. I don't need this turning into a job. I This is something I love to do. So everything I do here, guys, I try to do it with love. So when you get it, you're getting my best effort. You're getting my best effort. I'm not cutting any corners. I, you're getting my best effort out of here. If somebody says my leather is a level seven, fine, I get it. Maybe I'm not AJ Giddings. Maybe I'm not drip belts maybe i'm not classic shields or rm i don't care i am doing the best i can do for anybody that comes down here nobody can say that i did a shitty job because i wanted to do a shitty job and there's plenty of other guys out there and i'm not going to name anybody but i've seen some of them come here for repairs they do shitty jobs they have a reputation and they do shitty jobs because they re they choose to do a shitty job they're still doing uh, re-leathering with vinyl backings how do i know i've taken them apart so they're doing vinyl backings when everything leaves here it's full leather front and back there's no cheating you on this so i'm doing the best i can for my people that's all i gotta say about that i'm doing the best i can for all my people that come through here man Dylan, thank you, brother. He says, have a good one, brother. Thanks for taking the time to answer my questions. Keep doing great things. I'll try, brother. God, know, God knows I try. 
He says, uh, Kevin says, agree to have a painting business and people ask questions all the time how to do the certain projects. I tell them because either they fuck it up and I fix it or they uh, they do it right and save themselves money. I could get a referral. Sure enough, dude. And believe me, you know, it's just I really believe that one of man's mission here is spreading knowledge. It's spreading knowledge. Josh Roach says, I can't wait for my disputed quality unmatched in my opinion. And that's what uh, we discussed the other day. That's why I went with you. Love the dedication. Uh, that's what makes it much more authentic. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate you, brother. I really do. Believe it. Best believe. I, I try, brother. And I'm trying to help open up everybody's minds to that. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, yeah. I know, Platinum. <laughs> Good one, brother. But guys um i'm gonna try the best i can do for anybody and everybody that comes through here um shoot man i have a i think a very good what i would call a breakout i don't want to call him a maker because the person that i am working with nowadays uh and i think i'm finally gonna settle down with a certain person to make uh plates for me hd this is a guy that the makers go to him for plates. He is not a maker. He just makes the HD plates process. So I'm not going to a maker. I'm cutting the middleman. I am cutting the makers out. I am cutting everybody out. I'm going directly to the source, which is probably what none of these makers want anybody getting their hands on. I'm going straight to the source. I'm not going to make a penny on uh, the sell of the plates if somebody needs a belt done i just want that guy to make his money i make my money on my leather we're gonna put those two two things together and get somebody a really nice affordable hd american leather made belt so that's what i'm shooting for in the next few months for this year guys i'm finally getting it done so if anybody wants a hd belt on american leather hit hit your boy up i'll be able to do it very economically very nicely um, and we'll get it handled. You know what I mean? Vinny. Vinny says, it's been great, Antenna. <laughs> Watch you and your uh, work growing this hobby. I remember your video for the first time in the old Brothers of the Belt. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. And Vinny. Vinny was one of the first guys that ever let me cut loose on the belt and do something custom. And he has a beautiful belt, a beautiful blue strap, beautiful belt that he has in his family's, uh, in his heart, I would say. I don't think that thing's ever going anywhere. Um, thank you for that. Thank you. In, for, and I always said this all the time. Thank you for believing in me and let me do what I want to do and need to do. I hope I can do more in the future for you, man, and everybody else. Platinum says, that sounds like a good deal. Thank you, brother. Josh says, sounds like the job for an undisputed version of <laughs> and eventually I want. Brother, the guy does amazing work and he's going to do it the way I want him to do it for the people. Any of us on price ranges? Hey, just for the sake of it, if you want a HD belt on American leather done by me, sent to you, we can get it done for $750. $750 on American leather, shipped with insurance to your door you know what i mean let's get it done four mil and yeah brother and and the one thing i'll say now people always ask me who's your maker who's making the plates that's not coming out of my mouth so like and the reason is this there is a lot of info about work i'm willing to share but there are just some things you cannot talk about because you have a certain promise with people. Um, aside from that, I think that when you do the work, you do the footwork, um, you go out, you hunt the deer, you skin it, you put a, a, a meal on the plate for somebody, um, you put in all that work just to hand it over. There is a limit. I spread knowledge, but there's a limit to how much of that knowledge goes out. Um, 
there is some level of job security i will say you know what i mean so that's what it is guys and, and that, i think that has to be respected it has to be respected you don't go to Foot Locker and say, where do you get your shoes from or where do they assemble them for you? So I can, you know what I mean? It just doesn't work that way. So um, I know there, there's a fine line. So uh, that's what I think. I think it, you can't give everybody everything. And this goes back to the saying where you say, um, you could either give a fish to somebody and feed them every day or teach them to fish and then let them go out and fish their own thing. You know what I mean? That's what really keeps the world going around. You you just can't give everything up. You have to make sure you do the right thing and allow them to fish for themselves. That's what it is. I, I firmly believe in that. Nobody taught me how to fish. In this in this hobby, I I was thrown in a deep water and, and crawled my way out of it. And then when I was almost out of it, I had some good people reach out to me and finally give me some constructive criticism and they helped me along the way too man uh joshua says holy shit that's amazing definitely going for a version one from you then thank you brother and uh kevin says left me my ass off yeah i never even asked that question thank you brother i appreciate you understanding uh kevin says how do i bevel with a smooth bevel to achieve a certain look sure Hey man, can you tell me how uh who makes your plates so I can uh I don't want to steal <laughs> Dude. Uh I can steer you in the direction, but then you have to do your own groundwork because at the end you only I can send you to my guy and say and just like classic shields or ORM or anybody else, uh you send me to classic shields, but they're really not for me. Or I went with RM and they're not for me. Or I went to one of the worst people, mock belts. I've seen guys that are still doing business with mock belts. I threw up a, a post this week just for shits and giggles because the guy was hitting me up in the box and I wanted him to see. I screenshot it and send it to the guy, the maker. I said, let me show you what your reputation is these days and you want me to mess with you guys. So I screenshot the conversation and the comments that were going on i said buddy you're in a very very bad place the only way i would make any business with you do any business with you is send me the place to my doorstep and if everything checks out and it's okay maybe i'll pay you for the plates you know what i mean so that just comes to show where we're at in this hobby right now with these guys with these damn makers as far as the the bevel it's a practice. Uh, you can't ask me, hey, what skates should I put on to be the best skater in the world? No. You need to lace them up and practice to become that. You know what I mean? You, you just have to lace them up. You have to lace them up and get in there and, and get to it. I put hours and hours and hours of beveling. And I know this because I ask a lot of guys, what do you do to bevel to make it so smooth? Not one tip they gave me, not one tool they recommended to help me out. I had to do my own thing and, and and just work it out myself, to be honest. Kevin says, Mock Belts was almost the first boot I went with until I saw the horror stories. Then I found great custom belts. Yeah, you're ever in good hands with great custom belts. Dude. Tyler Dove is doing a good job over there. This is, I'm going to send you my first snap box uh, attempt so you can have a laugh. No, brother, I'm not going to laugh at that. You know, I I can send you my first snap box attempts and you can have a good laugh yourself too. Um, none of us came out the womb running. None of us came out the womb jumping and doing backflips, guys. Okay. We all had to crawl. We had to learn to crawl. We had to learn to stand. We all had to learn to run and jump. We Some do it better, some do it faster, some do it higher, some do it slower, it doesn't matter. We all bring something to the table. That's what makes it so special, man. That's all it is. So if anybody, maybe in the future, wants a nice HD belt done by me, I can get them done for 750 to 850. That's what we're looking at. My maker's good, he's gonna be good with paint work. We're working every day through the details, making sure that all the details are right. And that's all I can do. 
Platinum says, I try to hang myself in the womb, but I couldn't jump. <laughs> ah, brother, let me tell you. We're all fortunate. Some of us didn't even make it out the womb. You know what I'm saying? We were hung before we were already out. So. Now, I mean, uh, we are blessed with the life and the things we do and what we can do, man, to be honest. It's a practice. Definitely a practice of life. Kevin says, oh, yeah, it's all practice. I'm getting better every day. I'm just doing this so I can uh, re-leather my own belts and only get re-leathers on the real hard stuff. Okay. Um, you will find out that as you progress, you're going to be able to knock out the harder stuff. What starts getting harder is investing in yourself. Uh, once you start having to, where you have to start investing 500, 300 there, oh, this is a piece of equipment costs 300. Uh, if I really want this, I need to go this route and uh, spend 1500 there on a sewing machine or 2000 on a sewing machine. But once you start going there, you better get ready to get serious because you're offering a service and you're competing with really great guys out there. So, you know, you're not going to beat everybody, but you definitely want to be somewhere in there. You want to be somewhere in there. Uh... <laughs> That's the Frankenstein. That that baby broke the hobby, broke records, broke everything, guys. Don't don't underestimate that belt. That belt is something. Anthony Myers, dude, bedtime. Yes, it is for you, old man. Go to sleep. Me? Let me tell you something. We, we're just getting warmed up here. We've got some whiskey bottle right here. I got a beer on the left. I still got my snickerdoodle smokies. I still got a little bit of screwball and I got some in my glass. Guys, this can be a five hour show. It could be a one hour show. It's all up to you. As long as people keep applauding, I keep coming out to sing another song. That's what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> the Reggie Ryan, yes. It is one of a kind, guys. It is one of a kind. Um, guys, in bringing up that subject, if anybody's got any scraps out there, ugly plates, you guys want to do something with them, send them to me. I'll do something for you guys. Um, of course, I have a that page I haven't promoted in a while, but it's Frankenbelts. Go look for the page, Frankenbelts. Sign up. Um, join the group. Post the ugliest belt that a maker made, the ugliest belt you've made. Or the most creative belt you've made, whatever customs, there's it's there, there's no limits to anything. There really isn't. I'm not gonna be insulted. I don't think you have the time for other services. I got a good edit <laughs> personal use kind of. Yeah, it's it's like I found the leather game to be the same as being a tattoo artist. Some people just get good enough to work on themselves or or just close friends. But the second you want to start working on other people, you have to be a very, very good artist to, to, to jump into that realm. You know what I mean? Stone Cold says, Rye Whiskey is about to put me to bed myself. Oh, man. Let me tell you. That whiskey is something nice. It's salty caramel flavor. It's good. Tennessee. Joyce says, come on, Mendoza, pull on in there, something can't hang. <laughs> Brother, let me tell you, I am a ex-musician. For you guys who don't know, I am an ex-musician. I used to go out and play, let me tell you the story. I used to get up at 8 a.m., go to my shop, be there by 9, 9.30, work all day, um, get out of there go to practice load equipment go out be a musician play till 4 a.m the next morning go to breakfast at ihop till 6 a.m come home crawling through the door at 7 a.m and still have to do my husband duties and finally go to sleep around midday to wake up and do it all over again play music on that same weekend guys i'm in it for the long haul <laughs> I know you're up for it. Everybody is. 
134.4 proof Jack Daniels ride for me tonight. Needed it after a long day. Hey, brother, we all need it. We all need it. Come on. I see a symbol in the background. I played drums for 15 years. Haven't played in about 10, though. No place to keep a lot. Hey, brother, this is only one set. I have three sets. I have this one. I have a pearl seven piece upstairs or eight piece. And I have a very classic fiberglass pearl world custom kit. Um, this is an Orange County kit that I brought from California. Very nice kit. I think it's like a 22 by 20 inch kick. Very long throw, wide custom hoop in the front. Um, I have Zildjian S symbols for any of y'all other guys that know music. I have like six snares, different tastes for different beats for every style. I do a lot of stuff. It's not just belts, guys. I collect toys. I collect collectibles. Uh, a lot of stuff, man. I would like to get into ALJN toys for sure. All the wrestlers, man. I would love it. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, bro. I know what you mean. Don't worry, man. Josh Rose says, I remember you talking about snap screws earlier. I saw the snap piece of shit on my belt. <laughs> <laughs> ah brother <clears throat> L listen by far no lie no lie and this is classic shields may be the best guys out there for some people for most people i would say but honestly um from my experience i've even had stuff here from classic shields that i when i take it apart a lot of those screws are rusted and when you try to get them off even if you put some lubricate lubricant on there to try to get them off they still snap um honestly i've never had a problem with one particular maker that uses chicago screw style it's brass so it's not gonna rust it's not gonna seize um so that he does very very good i really would suggest that they uh, switch to that system, man, honestly. It pisses me off almost when I see those screws. <clears throat> Kevin says, bro, you're killing me, man. I might be able to fit an electronic kit in my house, but nothing like playing the real thing. I know. I, at one point, had up to 12 kits, including DW, D-Drum. I had uh, Gretsch. I've had Pearl, mostly Pearl Masters. Uh, birch maple uh the one i have behind me this kid is a babinga wood so it's i'm not getting rid of it it's a babinga wood fuck that it's illegal to cut those trees down now mapex i had a mapex also i had a mapex really nice um it was like a um faded type of blue teal into a lighter whitish type of color nice Uh, Joshua says, Am I just a shop on this feeder that was releathered by a scammer? <laughs> like, I'm getting a belt releathered. Like, what the fuck? Oh, bro. <sighs> what are you, you going to do? These scammers. There's a way to control them, man. But I don't know if people have the nuts to control these guys, honestly. It's really about just uh, going through PayPal and having them only operate through, uh, you know, through the means necessary that you have to to be able to get refunds and all that you know what i mean so goods and services is the way to go unless it's a guy like me or somebody else in the hobby that's really trusted uh don't do friends and family i was something to miss is more than my own <laughs> enjoy the guy's shit show for a big job ah uh. Let me tell you guys, I used to do construction and stuff like that, man, and paint jobs on cars, and it's crazy. It's it, You can really get yourself in some deep shit. Ah! Mm -hmm. Cole says, uh, check your email, send you uh, a belt I used to own by old maker named Mike Hamilton. Had about 100 bolts in it. Hey! I will say this, not a lot of people like Mateen anymore, but to be honest, um, Mateen, when he does do his like HD belts, boy, does he put a lot of bolts on the back. Holy crap. 
just the side plates will have like six to eight. And that's all cool, man. But damn, you don't need that many. You can weld one on each corner and be fine as long as you do a proper weld on them. Dude, do a proper damn weld and you'll be fine. Holy crap. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 19, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 screws in the middle of the center plate. That's if I've ever seen anything excessive in my life. That is excessive. Side plates have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 12 bolts. Holy shit. Okay, that's excessive. I would do one in the center and one on each corner. That's all you really need, to be honest. You don't need any more. Do you know the strength? Of just one screw properly welded. Guys, if you take a truck and you look at the truck beds, how much weight does a truck bed hold? And those truck beds on a truck are held by like four to six screws. Come on now. It just has to be done right. It just has to be done right. Platinum says, I'm ahead of a uh, older color shields wing eagle. I might want done with a wood grain leather style finish. Bro, that's right up my alley. I love I love customs. I love challenges. 2024. I'm going to make belts great again. Uh maybe 8 to 9 pounds at the most. <laughs> Uh, toe bolts on the side plate. The hell, lol. Yes, I know that's woo. It, it, I mean, it's uh, guys, I'll share it because it says I can share it. So let me go back into this real quick. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Holy crap, here it goes. It was just there. Come on, yeah, I gotta turn up the brightness a little bit here. My phone really sucks, guys. I'm my apologies. But hopefully you guys can see this. Look at that. Look at that center plate, guys. Is that not excessive or what? Look at the side plate. Ah! Oh my god. It looks like a machine gun went through this thing. Holy crap. That is ho uh, I I believe in quality and stuff like that, but my god, my god. Oh, and I finally got the, uh, thank you, brother. I, I, I got the, uh, the pictures of the real leather here for the, uh, lavender belt. Awesome. I did not see them until now. I know Dave Milliken re-leathered this belt. I can see his stamp, but I'll be honest with you right now. He did his own custom touch. And that tooling is wrong. And that mm, could be a bad statement to make because I'm going to say why. Let's just say Reggie made 10 of those belts and 10 of those were tooled differently. Did Reggie tool them wrong or was it just his taste on every belt? Same thing with Milliken. He was his understudy. So would it be wrong? I don't think so. It's not wrong. But if you're trying to tool something exactly to the one specific version made on TV, then maybe you're wrong, right? That's all I can say about that. But it, I mean, it looks good. Platinum says, what the freak? Kevin says, you could throw, <laughs> you get into a tornado and those plates aren't leaving that strap. No, they're not, dude. You can use it as an anchor. Uh, she says, it's not a real, it's a Millican belt. I, and you know what? I believe you. Um, I've seen Millican belts where they have Tons, but tons of bolts. And being that it's going to be possibly a ring made belt or whatever. Holy crap. You know, I get it. Um, the Reggie belts. We saw sidebars flying out. We saw side plates disappearing, uh, flying out. You know, so I get it. They know that people get pretty rough with those things, man. So, yeah. That's, that's a nice Dave Milliken, though. For sure. 
Josh says, uh, Jamar did that with his stuff too. Jamar did do a lot of bolts. I have seen some of his. Um, I don't know if they were that excessive, but I know he did do a lot of them like that. <clears throat> Platinum says, what's a, uh, is the way that's a Millican with all the bolts? Yes, it is. It's a Millican confirmed by the owner there, Stone Cold. Milken, I believe him, every bit of it. Uh, Josh says he also changed up the straps uh, and whatnot here and there. He did. He wasn't as he wasn't as consistent as Reggie. Reggie does have some inconsistencies, but not as inconsistent as JMR. JMR was like every belt he made in touch was different. Every single one. Like I don't know. I don't know if I've ever seen a JMR belt where two are exactly the same. If Joey's still watching this, correct me, brother. I don't know, but it must have been good. He was making good money, so he could afford it. Soko says, no, the bolt belt is Mike Hamilton. The lavender is... Okay, so correction. The lavender is Milliken. The other one, which appears to be like a big gold, he says, uh, was made by Mike Hamilton. Why he would weld on so many bolts, I do not know. But, you know. A lot of people like to do things to make it look more authentic. I know that I like the bigger Chicago screw head screws because it makes the leather look like those little bumps are nice and round and makes it look more authentic rather than the little beady screws just showing on the back of the, the backing. I really like how the bigger bolts look smoother and nicer. So, you know, eh, you know. Guys talking about wrestling, though, like... What do you think? Are we getting the winged eagle or what? I'm like, I need the winged eagle. Even if it has the W-E on there. I don't mind. I would not mind. I mean, can't WWE legally do a reissue? Could they not do a reissue winged eagle of something that they used to have? I think that's illegal. I think they could do a reissue of a winged eagle replica for their customers. They should be able to do it. I don't see why not. I don't see why they can't pull out a old school winged eagle and use it for a title. They didn't make something new. It's existing already. But anyways, I, I really would like that, man. Michael, we I think the majority of people whether they're young or older, we all want it to come back. It's better than this thing. And I have this, I do collecting, I told you guys, but this is a belt. It's in package, never opened. It was originally purchased at KB Toys. It was the Brahma Bull belt. Look at that, guys. The Brahma Bull, the original Brahma Bull WWF scratch logo belt. That's right. That's right. And it's not going to be open. This is staying sealed, baby. This is collectible right here. I'm going to have, I'll probably have this sent out to get signed and have it put. The final boss laying the smack it on this right here. Wouldn't that be badass on that room right there? Platinum, go to bed, brother. I get you, man. I'm tapping out. He says, I can't hang with you young fellas. I'm not very young myself either. You see these grays? That's how it is. It's just life. It's just life. And I go to work tomorrow early. Not early. I'm, I'm lying out of my teeth. I don't go to work early. I go pretty late. Later than most people would think. Oh, but after this, I guarantee I'm going to watch a movie. Have me a hamburger, some pizza, some enchiladas, something. I'll find some chimichanga frozen in the back of my fridge. I will have something for sure. Oh, I'm a gel guy. I use gel. Palmate can't hold this down. Uh, no way. 
Send your Facebook message uh, of my day for our practicing progress. I'll take a look at that, brother, for sure. I'll, you know, I, I love to look at that and love looking at progress. And <laughs> Justin, I got tired. Still got to chat with you about the Undisputed anyway. Yes, I know. I know. It. I got so much going on. So much going on. Uh, guys, I will say I will be taking a break from leather work. I'm sorry. I will be taking a break from leather work. You did not hear that wrong. I will be taking a break from leather work. I don't want this to turn into a job. I still want it to be a hobby I love and do work for people. Um, I don't want to uh, exhaust myself and stress myself. I want it to stay a labor of love. I don't want it to be, you know what I mean? I don't want it to where I have people uh, yelling down my neck to get their things. I, I don't want that to happen. Ah, that's classic. Three flowers, that's classic. That was with Cholo Life back in the day, brother. Let me tell you that. It has been wild. It has. Yeah, some of us get lucky. We're trying to get lucky tonight. You got to love it. Got to love it. Very smart man. Always got to do load. Yes, and that's that's exactly what it is, brother. I don't want to make this a, uh, a job. If everything you love to do was a job, if you go out fishing and you catch three in the whole day, you don't mind. You went out for the fishing. You went to relax. You went. If you had to come home with a quota of doing 50 fish a day, it would turn into a job. You'd be miserable. 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 If you had to go make love to 50 women on a daily basis, it's a chore. It's a job. It wouldn't be the same anymore. Come on, guys. we got to admit it. you got to admit it. Ooh, my first year was very slow. I think now I probably go through maybe 12 to 15 re-leathers a month. When I used to only do three a month, three to four. I couldn't imagine back in the day doing more than five a month. Now I'm doing like 10 or 12. So I'm really, I don't want to say behind. But every strap takes basically anywhere from two to three weeks. Two to three weeks if everything's running smooth. Uh, I have learned that that's not always the case. I have a smoking skull that I'm doing. And I just barely got my hands on the backing. After two weeks of waiting on the backing, it came in. It was unavailable. And when it was available, it was $50 more. I can't pass that. I can't tax the customer for that. It's not his fault. It's not my fault. It's not anybody's fault. But now I know for the future. So it's just that's how it goes. They've blessed me. They've blessed me, brother. Because every time... I don't know about everybody else. I don't know their life story. I don't know what they do. But every time I get a job for doing a belt, we don't make that much money. It's not as much as people think. I could charge 300 for a belt. And take two, three weeks to make it, and I'd only get eighty to hundred dollars out of it. So it's not the amount of people. It's not the amount of money people think it really is. You know what I mean? So uh, people are blessing me because it helps put food on the table. It helps put clothes and shoes on the backs of my kids, my family. It put it fills my tummies. It helps with the bills, the gas in the car. It it helps. So I am super grateful for that. Grateful to anybody that um, comes through with a job for me. You know what I mean. So I'm super honored and grateful for that, brother. I always tell that. I always tell everybody when I speak to them in my inbox or anything. I tell them thank you and God bless. And I really mean that from the heart. Thank you and God bless. God bless you guys for. For doing that because if it wasn't for you um where would i be what would i do 
You know what I mean? Um, we have to be thankful for all those things. We can't take them for granted, man. Can't do it. Where would I buy my goat milk? I gotta buy my goat milk. Gotta have my goat milk. Stuff's not cheap. Things like 25 bucks a jar. It's not cheap. Screwball. $6 a little can. Ah, I gotta keep this habit going. Guys, we're on the three hour mark. I can't believe we've gone this and call me the Iron Man on this thing. But I'm going to say thank you for tuning in. Like, share, subscribe, guys. Tell a friend, tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your aunt, tell your cousin, tell your brother, tell your sister. But don't tell your kids about me. Thank you guys for joining me and the rest of the crew. They're no longer here. They're either. I don't know what they're doing, but they are doing their own thing, their own thing or watching me at this point. Um, either way, guys, thank you so much, man. I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you, Kevin. I appreciate you too, man. Mahalo, brother. Thank you so much. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I will see you guys next Wednesday. Unless we do a late night all of a sudden. But I will see you guys on next Wednesday. Hump day! And let's see when we get a new belt day going on. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate you too, man. No lie. And I'm getting some new leather coming in. This leather is supposed to be the bomb. Like I said, I'm always looking for new product, good product. This is the leather I've been waiting to get my hands on for a while. I could not convince this company to send it to me. They're a company that does veg tan leather in Mexico. And they their standards are very high and very good. And man they understand my language and everything I, I want out of a leather so hopefully it comes in and i could do a review on it Ooh, it's gonna be very different than the camel leather i got from pakistan that one time but it, I, it's supposed to be very nice so hopefully guys that comes in and we can talk about that so because it's coming in from mexico it's not gonna be any cheaper but at least they're price matching and they are promising to be um, <laughs> a little softer. And what's good about that is when leather starts out softer, it takes less of my materials and my effort to make it softer when it comes in a certain stiffness. So less breaking in, less oil to use on it, saves me money, saves me time. All that's very important. They do some of the conditioning back into the leather after they process it versus American veg tan when they process it they don't put any minerals back into the leather it's just hard as a cardboard dry so hopefully I get this stuff in and I can review it um, but guys see you everybody have a good night I hope that everybody is uh, doing good stay blessed um, I am going to be out of here because I got some child to tear down and watch a little movie guys have a good night i am out of here see you later guys <laughs>